This is Mary at the Marriott TA, and it's Friday evening, August 7th, and I'm ready to do some art. I am ready to do some art. Let me sit down. I'm a little bit early tonight. How did that happen? How did it happen? I still have things out here from yesterday morning. All righty. I turned over and went back to bed this morning. Any of you do that? My flowers are still pretty. They're getting a little discoloration in here, but they're still very pretty. They're holding up very well. Alright, I have my ink pens and a tracing wheel. If you watch Joggos and get her newsletter, you will see where she's selling these. This is a Singer one. I think she did a video using, using them and she's got one that's a double blade, which is very interesting. All right, let's check out my chat. Hello, Penelope. I'll put you over here. Yeah. Okay, videos. Mary, live. Hi, Mina. Welcome, welcome. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know, Susan. Hi, Becky. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Mina says, how did that happen that Mary was actually in here early? Becky's here. Did you all see Becky's video, her sewing video, and her crochet video? Yay, Becky! Good for you. I'm glad to see you doing those. Now, I'm not going to work on my calendar tonight, but this is the calendar that I'm altering in the mornings. It's an old 1994. I got it on the Nebraska Junk Jaunt, which probably won't happen this year. Oh, it might. It's a 355, 350-mile garage sale in central Nebraska and I've just been putting little pieces of what leftovers on my desk every morning that I stream and sometimes on the weekends I do three or four pages because I miss them so and it is getting full it's getting full this is the last one I think Becky didn't you send me that bird napkin I think you did I put one of the birds on there I think I got these from either Crystal or LP Red Flower. A bicycle. I'm getting backing up here to one of my favorite ones. Wait, where is it? Here. A zebra. <laughs> a zebra sticking his neck out. Sticking his neck out. Yep, that's what zebras and Marys do. They stick their neck out. Get it. Pounced on. All right. So, let's set this aside. We'll work on that in our morning stream. I've got some happy mail to open. Folks sent me some happy mail again. Let's see. I've worked in my journal a little. Well, the Thursday morning. We did these. And I think I'll cut some more of these later on tonight. Some more of these foamies out of a floor mat. Well, this one is just the back of it. It's the tread. I did the Dancing Stars and uh, the tread, the back of the floor mat, the tread of the floor, the floor mat, the Dancing Stars, and one other one. Oh, here, the Swirl. So I might cut some more of these tonight. <sighs> I'll have to put them in a special place so when I ever get back to doing a jelly plate session when it gets cooler. It's going to be hot here again this weekend. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. And of course, here's my sunflower that I did in Crayola Melted Flowers. I'm going to start a box that's just flowers and galaxy. Maybe some sky clouds. Wouldn't that be fun? And these leftover pieces, I'm going to dig the rest of them out of the waste basket. I'm going to glue those down to a piece of cardboard and make a I'll probably have to well no I think I can glue them down this way make a 
<laughs> I can make a mosaic. So we'll dig the pieces out, but I'm not going to do that right now. It seems so dark in here. I don't know why it seems dark in here to me. Okay, what else are you guys saying? Hi, Renee, your little red wagon. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Lori Pink Girly. And Janet, there's Janet. Welcome, Janet, Janet. Aunt Beck said, I did taste it when the machine finished. It's time before I put it over in a freezer container and it was yummy and I wanted a little more. What did Aunt Beck make? Chat's moving too fast now. Chat is scooting fast. I gotta get up here and see what Aunt Beck made. It's been a busy day, Aunt Beck said. A trip to a Home Depot, post office, and the grocery store. Changed linens on the bed, did the laundry, and made old fashioned peach ice cream. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> We went grocery shopping finally yesterday, and uh, I got blueberries, Becky. I'm going to um, I'm going to try to make my brother some blueberry ice cream. And I was watching videos on YouTube about how to make blueberry ice cream, and I was so surprised that they cook those blueberries so that they pop. <laughs> Only one video, and it was a guy who did it. It was like a seven-year-old video, and he just dumped the blueberries in. They were frozen. He just dumped them in. <laughs> and my brother said that he tested the ice cream maker and it worked fine. He said he was worried that maybe it was the breaker that didn't work. But I think maybe I it was on my second batch. And so I might have to let It's just a little ice cream maker. It only makes about maybe a half quart of ice cream at a time. So I have to make two batches to fill our little container. Well, it's probably about a quart container of ice cream, but I thought I'd make some blueberry ice cream for my brother. Let's see, who else come in here? Kendra, hi Kendra, welcome, welcome. Susan Gerald, Janet says hello to everybody. Joyce is here, hi Joyce. Candy and Sherry, hi Sherry, welcome, welcome. Lori, Janet, Mina, Pink, Burley, Becky, Joyce, Candy, I think I said, oh, there's Dar. Hi Cheshire, welcome Cheshire. Rhonda, there's Rhonda. Welcome, Rhonda. Mary Lou Antiloupi says, hi, everyone. Hi, Mary Lou Antiloupi. Welcome, welcome. Kendra, Susan, Becky, Candy, Susan, Rhonda. I'm just going up here and making sure I've welcomed everybody. Gail, hi, Gail. Welcome, welcome. And you know what I'm going to do here? And maybe I can do this in my journal, but hopefully I can do it. I want to start keeping track because when I put in those chapters, when I put in those video chapters, I have to hunt through my stream for the next project that I'm working on. And if I can do a video chapter, um, no, maybe this is too bulky to do. If I can do a video chapter's note, each time that I change my, or when we go into a chat session, let's do it on here because it's already all torn, torn. So we have to start our video chapters out with OO, oh, oh, and I usually call that welcome and, and hellos. And we chat a little bit, and I'm trying to put in, like when I go off hunting for stuff or you know, I'm working on a project and I'll stop and chat to you guys. I'm trying to put in that time so if somebody who's watching the replay isn't interested in in all the intermediate area chat, they can just skip to the next chapter and see what's happening next. But that takes me, after my stream ends, it takes me about two hours because I have to go through, and, and sometimes a video isn't done processing. And you know how it, hard it is to watch a video that's still processing. It hangs, it'll freeze the frame, and then I have to restart it. And it takes me about the minimum of two hours to get those video chapters in after I complete a stream. So I'm thinking if I just kind of keep track of my time, like, oh, 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 and right now I just put welcome and hellos, but when I start a project, I'm going to try to. I may not get them all, but I'm going to try to put down when I start a new project. 
so should I open happy mail let's let's finish here let's see Renee says I put frozen blueberries in my iced tea my water and sometimes in wine Ooh, that sounds good Renee hi Patty hi Deborah Brown post it oh that's a great idea Aunt Beck you mean just when I, I post it in my live chat well then I have to wait till because I don't see the chat until the vi video's done processing and sometimes that video processes for all day long depending on how busy they are but I could post it write it on, instead of writing it on a tab here a piece of paper open up a uh, a note we could do that here it would be the same as posting I could post it in my chat too um, let's see Sam I, I, I don't know if she was meaning me when she said post it she might have been talking to somebody out there but she gave me an idea let's start a new tab here and I'll put uh, live stream uh, Lindsay <laughs> live say I got what what I didn't want live see <laughs> live stream o a o seven twenty all right and of course o o um o o is welcome and hellos ah <laughs> I sure to bore you guys to tears. Welcome and hellos. All right, I'm just going to save that. I don't know if Becky was talking to me, but uh, she gave me an idea. Of course, I got out of my chat. Hi, Patty. Hi, Deborah. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the picture of your peach ice cream is on Instagram. <laughs> That's what Becky was talking about with peach ice cream. Yummy, yummy. Well, you gave me an idea anyway, Aunt Beck. Rather than writing it down, I'll have it on my, on my tablet here. We have wild blueberries on our mountain property, Joyce says. They're small but yummy. That sounds good. Peach ice cream. I see. I made peach ice cream last week, and I had, I bought four peaches, and I only used two peaches in the ice cream. I used one peach per batch. I put it in our little magic bullet and smashed it up, and then added it to the ice cream mixture. And but I had two left over, and uh, I didn't have any more cream or half and half to make more ice cream. So I made peach peach and nut muffins so hi Holly Dalton welcome welcome let's see who else did I miss Carol Joyce Janet Deborah hello Patty hi Patty hi Gail I think I could said hello to everybody didn't I I think I did Susan I used a full two cups of heavy cream and decreased the whole milk to just a cup <gasps> oh yum <laughs> How, how much did that make? Two full cups of heavy cream that had to make a quart of ice cream. <laughs> because in our little rival, um, this is just what my brother had around the house here that his significant other probably purchased a couple, couple years before she passed. And the recipe for that calls for a half a cup of, of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, and uh, a cup of milk and a half cup of half and half, I think. That's how it goes. And sugar and a dash of salt. I think that's about it. I'd have to look at the recipes to be sure. sure. Deborah says, good evening, Ordinary Mary and Extraordinary Fibs. <laughs> good evening, Deborah. Extraordinary Deborah. Deborah gave me an idea. She was watching one of my uh, old videos, Deborah, with uh, what I called the lace journal. I was doing that uh, 
I was doing a stamp, I think, on the particular video that Deborah watched, or was it the bees? I can't remember. But I was showing how I uh, did a stamped image, and of course I did it two ways. I used my fine liner, and I also used just a permanent marker, and I drew lace between the stamps. That's one of the things. And I might do that. The, the trouble is with that particular journal, Deborah, I'd love to continue working in it, but you know where it's at. <laughs> so in Wisconsin, so I might have to start me a new lace journal. Let's see. Now we're back up to the peach ice cream. Yes, you watched the all the lace journal videos? Wow. Wow, cool. Well, I also have another playlist, Deborah. It's not lace, but I have, I don't know if you use the fine line paint applicator. But I started, now that journal I have here, I did some techniques. This was a little photograph album with the black paper. And I was doing, uh, and I kind of quit working on that too. Um, techniques with the fine line paint applicator. Becky, no butter? Let's see. Is Mary T in here? Hi, Mary. Welcome. Hi, Nashua. Welcome, welcome. Mina's here, Mary's here. Nashua's here, Mary too. Says hello everybody. Janice says she loves peach pie. <laughs> yeah, my brother bought a, yesterday, he likes the, we went to a different grocery store. Our grocery store that we go to is gonna get bought out by a, IGA, a local IGA chain. And they say they're gonna keep the name and keep the employees and but I think they'll be switching things around. And my brother and I went shopping there yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't too happy, neither was my brother. We had a hard time finding the things we wanted. We ended up going back to our regular store. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> We're running out of grocery stores here in central Nebraska. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. I'm going to back out to the open happy mail. Okay. So, it is, let me check, check. Oh, I can't, let's see, I can't see the time. It's 7.39 in here. So, I can only put, I can't put like two, two hours or 30, I can't put the minutes. I have to put the time, like 7.39. I'd have to figure it all up. Huh, I don't like that. I wish they'd change that to how many minutes we've been in here. Well, let's see. Can I tell? I may be able to tell up, up, up on my stream up above how many minutes I've been in. 18 minutes and 12 seconds. So I'll jump up 18, 18 15. Or I can get in that general area. Uh... Eighteen. We'll put by the time I get there. Eighteen twenty-five. Open happy mail. And it'll be in the general in that general area, and I can find it just by that. Open happy. And that I'm hoping that this will help me. Will help me get through. Get through my extra work that I do after after I sign off which may be very late tonight okay happy mail let's start with this one this is an order that I did this is a happy mail for me to me I've been watching Shannon Green and poor Shannon she got hacked her I guess was it her YouTube or her her AdSense and I guess she it's getting things put together, put back. Uh, I didn't have any trouble getting my order from her. But she had some issues that Google is trying to help her work out, I guess. But I just felt so sorry. I said, I have to go order something from Shannon. And I really wasn't... She's got these new, new uh, 
and and her etsy shop it's if one of the mods want to put in a link to shannon green's channel and her etsy shop let's give shannon green a great big shout out um and i would appreciate my mods thank you very much for doing that i don't have to stop and do it uh, she's got some new product or had some new product. It might be sold out by now because her products go fast. She does a lot of this vinyl, fusing vinyl. And uh, she does uh, cover, uh, oh, you know, travel, the, the journal covers with fused vinyl. Boy, I'm making a mess of this envelope. It's a good thing it's not a painted one. <laughs> And uh, she did some cases, like pencil-type cases, that you can... Well, they're bigger than that, because I think you can put journals and, and paper pads and stuff like that in there. And I didn't have a use for that, but I did have a use for something else here. Let me get it open here. Shannon Green, we love you. I hope you get your channel back real soon. Oh, and then, let's see, She this is the order sheet, and she gave me, I'll just save that for another time. Here's her, aw, I got a sticker, I'll put that in my, uh, my journal, and here's her business card. Shannon and Jason Green, makers of stuff. By Shannon Green, .com. By Shannon Green. that's her YouTube. Oh, she sent me a bookmark. Oh, bless her heart. It says, this is a one-of-a-kind handmade bookmark that is made from a retired vinyl billboard advertisement that has been fused, patent pending, to make it sturdy. It is also heat-resistant, water-resistant, tear-resistant, and eco-friendly. Oh, vegan-friendly and can be cleaned with any household cleaner. And then she's got her business card. And then she tells about her... Our products are individually handmade in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We take a great deal of pride in producing the highest quality products possible. When minor flaws are, flaws are unavoidable and when using up aside, yeah, minor flaws, and they are usually very minor and they're fun to tell you the truth. I love flaws. Uh, I love flaws. <laughs> I just bought two little dolls off of with Pearl Brown's auction one had a missing finger and the other one the other one what did it have stitches on its head or something i can't remember i fell in love with them i'm going to send those dolls to me i love them <laughs> she says yep minor flaws are unavoidable when using upcycled materials we consider them to be beauty marks from the vinyl's previous life and from the hands of artisans who transform them and if one of the mods would put a link in to Pearl Brown's channel, I would appreciate that too. And look, she sent me a little journal. These are freebies. Oh, I got another little journal. I'm going to put this in my little journal stack. Oh, you know what I should do? Where's that sticker? Let's put Shannon's sticker on this journal. Well, we'll paint it first. Uh, bobby pin time. <laughs> bobby pin time. Oh, and I want to make an announcement. On Friday, August the 14th, I believe it's the 14th, it's the second Friday in August, we're going to have another live stream hop. And we're going to do a... What do I do with all my bobby pins? They're here someplace. We're going to do another live stream hop, and we're going to do what we call a split hop. Uh, we'll have... There's 10 of us in the live stream hop. And that means that I'll start it out early in the morning, because I usually stream early in the morning. But I'll, it'll probably be a little bit later than my usual time. It'll probably be around 6 or 6.30. I'll announce that again. I forget what I said. I think I said 6 o'clock, but I might have said 6.30. I forget. Um, but there's going to be five of us streaming in the morning. And then we're going to have a break. And then we'll start up again in the evening around 6 o'clock p.m. in the evening. So my next, my Friday the 14th, Friday the 14th, that sounds ominous, doesn't it? It's one day after 
<laughs> Thursday the 13th. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Mary. Anyway, uh, uh, I usually stream on Friday nights, but we're going to do a live stream hop that night. So we got five more people uh, hopping in the evening. And I'm going to work up a schedule. Uh, well, we got the schedule worked out, out, but I'm going to work it out formally, and I'll post it in Vibsville, and I'll also post it on my community tab. I'll, probably, I'll try to get that done this weekend. So let's see what I bought. I bought vinyl scraps. Now, she was only selling these for $5, and there's a whole package of them. A whole package of vinyl scraps. I'm not going to open them. You know what her, her vinyl looks like this. Let's consider that to be a bookmark vinyl scrap. In fact, I think it was. Well, it said it was made out of a retired billboard advertisement. But So I'm going to be playing with these. And then I got her kit here that let me open it. Open it. Now let's open it on the on the glue side here. Hopefully, I can open it this way. No, you're not gonna let me open it this way. Yes or no? No. Get my scissors in there. And cut that glue. And I figured out why my brother and I have been sneezing. And I told my brother, because I'm going to sneeze. I told my brother, we need to clean our ceiling fans. <laughs> we need to clean our ceiling fans because I've been running them. And I, they haven't been cleaned since I've been here. Excuse me, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get me a Kleenex. So I think those ceiling fans have thus accumulated at least four years of dust. And I need to get up there and dust those off and clean them good because I'm sure that when, excuse me, that when they swirl around, now let me hand sanitize my hands for you just because it's sanity, sanitary. <laughs> Don't say Mary isn't sanitary when she blows her nose. All right. So what I bought from Shannon Green was her muse garden. Grow your own muse garden. And I looked at this several times and I thought, Do, you know, I know muse garden. And it didn't, it did not register with me until I went back and I was looking. She's got a whole bunch of uh, printable papers and stuff. And that muse garden kit is lost to me in and among all those printable papers. And I went back and I looked at it and I go, Muse Garden, Muse Garden. And then I started looking at what she did. I'm going, that is cool. I'm going to get it. So let me open it up here and show you. And then I'll look at, well, now I'm going to open all my happy mail before I look at chat because I want to do all this in a, in a segment. So I've got two pieces of her silverware. <laughs> I hope this isn't her good set, because I'm going to mess it up, Shannon Green. And you'll have to go look if it's still out there. Four corks. And I don't have any corks, because we don't drink. My brother used to drink. I think he's got some beer that he takes when he goes fishing. But he basically quit, has quit drinking. And uh, I never did drink. I took a, oh, once in a while when I'd go out with my friends and we'd go out for supper or something. I'd order a, a, you know, some di wine with my dinner, because they did, and I, you know, I don't have anything against it as long as it's reasonable. Here's a little vinyl tag. Aw, it's all stamped on. Aw, and she even signed it with a heart SG. And a coaster from Tappers. Beer battered wings. <laughs> and here's a... a a laminate piece from Wilson Art laminate to make a tag. It's got a oh, I might put that in my tag journal. I might put it over here with because I've been saving stuff for my tag. Sorry, that's not gonna that's gonna go in a different spot. Then there's this plastic case, and she used this in her pictures of her 
muse garden and some slides and some flosses now see i can see she had made little dolls little muse dolls i think out of these and i can see using these to make look they got a little they got a little punch hole in there these little floss floss pieces i can see putting becky's little uh the heads for becky's little um her little dolls that she made pocket pal dolls i could see the heads going on here and there's some there's some napkins in here <laughs> there's two napkins i'm sure that this will, is meant for dresses for some of the muses or for inspirations life is far too short not to have a little umbrella in your drink oh well yeah I don't have an umbrella, but I got a straw. And it's iced tea. It's nothing strong. And let's see. And there's some little bottles. Some little bottles. Those would make nice little bodies too, wouldn't they? Little bottle bottle bodies. And there's some there's some a button and two two th three buttons i don't know if the other two are buttons they could just be little little game pieces or something there's two dice <laughs> white dice and what else is in here some foam some brads some sequins some larger sequins a key so i'm gonna have fun with this not tonight but i'll be doing this one of these days but i appreciate shannon green she's uh, i just hope she gets her i think she said she was locked out of her own channel i think she's i think she's maybe they've got it fixed for her by now i hope so because we want our shannon green back yes we do all right so that's that was from me to me and her what did I do with that little book? Did I put that back in? What did I do with the little... I'm going to keep that book out. We're going to work on that. We'll, we'll make the cover for it. And I'll put her business card in my... In my ledger journal. And maybe even the bookmark. Alright. So let's close this up. And I think this will fit in here now. Will it fit in? Because I opened it up. So that's for me to me. So that was one happy mail. Then I got this all the way from Finland. And you know who lives in Finland. You know who lives in Finland. Our very own Santa. And that truly is happy mail because I was not expecting anything from Finland. I think that I'm going to get some inspiration from Deity. And I gotta start doing thank yous like Dee Dee does. And she does uh, one project a month and then she prints it off. And I might do something like that. I haven't, uh, but I should. Just a little thank you for all that you guys do. So she sent me some, can you guys see? Let's zoom in just a little now. Hold on, cause I'm, hold on cords in my way I'm not coming out till I open all this happy mail welcome to everybody who's come in I'm going to try to zoom in a little here Santa was my very first swap partner Janice said in Don's group wow well I have to send her something because I'm sure for her to mail internationally well I don't see a price on their, their stamp that she sent it priority. Isn't that a beautiful stamp? Can you guys see that stamp? So how much of her of her priorities postage was? She sent me stamped with archival ink. And she sent me all these cute little stamps here. And they're stapled shut. But you can see the first one. Kind of looks like a fat minion. <laughs> cute. 
I, I when I mean fat, I don't mean that derogatory. I mean he's round instead. The minions are usually, you know, look like your thumbs. This is a round guy with I should say a round eye minion. I didn't mean a derogatory. Don't email me, folks, Dee Dee says. Let's see, I think I might be able to open this one. These, well, here, we'll just show you through here. A bunch of little felt pieces. Thank you, Santa. That's so sweet of you, and I certainly do appreciate it. We'll be using these. Is there something else in there? No? Ooh, I love the inside of the envelope, though. <laughs> A different, cut in like little flowers. I don't know if you guys can see the inside of that envelope. Well, let's just open it up and show it to you. <laughs> Duh. Tanya would like the inside of that because I've never seen. Can you see that? The inside looks like little little squares of flowers. Now that is really pretty. I like that. So we're going to put this with my Happy Meal stack over across that way. And, oh, I have to give this to my brother. We bought a birthday card for my grandniece. So that's that. I thought he had something else. Oh, I did. Lori. Lori Paint Girly sent me some happy mail that I wasn't expecting either. Let's see. Can I get this cut here? I think maybe I can. We'll just, yeah. Let's see what Lori sent. Oh, oh, Lori. Oh, she sent me some of those ladies. Wait, let's see what's in here. And some napkins. Oh, Lori. Bless your heart. I love what you guys send me. This looks like a Jane Davenport. Are these Jane Davenport splatters? Oh, these will go in my napkin jar. I'm still doing the napkins. These are Jane Davenport napkins. And here's one with the Jane Davenport faces and the swatches. Oh, thank you, Lori. These are pretty. And I think she even has the backs pulled off of them. Bless her heart. She went one step further for me and pulled the backs off for me. Thank you. And here's some more faces. Thank you, Lori. Aww. Boy, she sent me several of them. There has to be at least ten of them there. Just estimating. And let's see what's in here. Gold glitter. She sent me some gold. <laughs> I love it. Wow. That is sparkly pretty gold. Wow, that is pretty. Thank you. Let's see what these, oh, more gold. Did you tell me you had these? I think she, she asked me if I wanted some gold. She had some gold foil. And she asked me if I wanted them and I said, yeah. I remember that message. Thank you, Lori. These are beautiful. She sent me a whole bunch of gold foils, papers. Oh, thank you. And some stamped butterflies. It's a card. Actually, it's very pretty. I'll put this in my journal. She says, Mary, I've been wanting these Jane Davenport napkins. Finally found on clearance. Woo! She says, Woot! W-O-O-T. I took the backs off. So, they were lighter to mail. <laughs> you didn't take the backs off to eliminate the work for me. You took the backs off to, so they'd be lighter to mail. I'm going to take one of these beautiful, maybe this one, and put with this, and I'll be putting it in my journal, along with Shannon's information here. And I don't know what I did with Shannon's business card. I think it's over here. Yeah. 
We'll put this in my ledger journal. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, and wait, we're not done. She sent me some of these beautiful vintage ladies. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. See, I can't use these. These are going to go in my... <laughs> I guess I might have to make a pocket to put these in. Let's see. Maybe one of these larger ones would make a nice pocket because you know I'll have trouble using them if I keep them in my ledger then I'll <laughs> oh and let's take a let's uh collage a, a napkin on the back I don't know about the faces maybe maybe um maybe a splatter let's do a splatter let's do the blue all right, whoops, I better. All right. Thank you so much, Lori. And Lori, let me cover up the asses with my fingers here. Lori sent a beautiful envelope, too. Actually, that could make the pocket, but no, we're going to put these back in before they blow away. Thank you so much, Lori. Lori Paint Girly. You guys have really cheered up my day, let me tell you. Now I have one more that came today. <laughs> my brother brought it in and just looked at me. I said, I didn't order it. I said, I did not order it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it upside down. It's an Amazon package. I said, I didn't order it, but I happened to be doing an Amazon order at the time. <laughs> he just looked at me. Let's see, I'm gonna put my heat gun on these so they won't blow away. Let's see what this is all about. I'm opening it from the bottom. Somebody sent me something. And this is Amazon, so they, Amazon, when I get directly from Amazon, I usually have a note in there telling me who did it. Who done it? No, I ordered me a paper punch today and some Crayolas. I ordered some of those uh, gel, cray uh, not gel, um, metallic crayons. I used one the other morning and it was so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody. Well, let me open it up. This is from... New England Hazelnut Cream Coffee. Here. Who is that from? Karen K. Aw, and I have Karen K's tizzy here ready to send. I gotta get it off in the mail now for sure. I can't keep up with you guys. I'm gonna put that over with my happy mail so I know. And this might go down in my drawer, take these bubbles out, and I might save these bubbles for something. Uh, I might put this down in my bottom drawer to keep my fine liners and my sprays separate. I, I need to straighten those out. Look at this. New England Coffee Hazelnut Cream. I've never had this brand. Oh, yummy. Thank you so much, Karen. Oh, thank you. Bless her heart. I think Karen sent me coffee the last time. Wow. I think I already opened your envelope, Arlene. I opened a happy mail from you the other morning. Did you? You didn't send me another one, did you? You sent me, um... You sent me those foils. They had the foil pieces in it. Is that what they are? All right. It is. Let us let me look at my time here. Because I'll write down in the chat. Because we're going to chat. It's 44.30. 44.30. Let me write it down here. Four. If I can just keep track of this a little 
then it'd be so much less work when I sign off. Okay. Mary, when you receive the regular envelope from me, please do not open it live. I think I opened it live. <laughs> if it was the one that had the foil pieces in it, I opened it, Arlene. Sue said, I tried to send you blueberry, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, it wouldn't let you send the blueberry? Aw, oh, well, thanks for the good thought, Suze. You, 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 oh, look, I didn't put those corks away. Oh, what did I do with that box? So let me rip down here and get it. Uh, I want to put it back in Shannon's. Ah, uh, reach, reach. Put it back in this so I don't lose it. Let's just put them in here. Of course, they'll fall out. Um... Susan, got, <laughs> Susan and I kind of got in a little trouble this afternoon over at Pearl Brown's channel. Susan was, I had ordered, a, what was it? Oh, it was a magazine. And everybody was asking for, she had a whole bunch of magazines for sale. And they were trying to get one with the date and year that they were born. And in the middle of it, in the middle of it, Sue says, for me, and I think Sherry Lynn missed that uh I'm not sure what happened. And and I ordered, and Sue said, you don't want to order. And we had 10 million conversations going on there, so I retracted all, and I was asking her, because I, I got real confused in that auction. Just me, and I was lagging, and I, I was asking her, I was asking her if she was selling them one at a time or all at once. I couldn't figure it out what she was doing. And I asked her several times, and so, when Sue said you don't want to order, I went back and retracted all my messages. And Sherry Lynn goes, don't retract your messages. <laughs> I'm going, she was saying, you won't get your bid if you retract your messages. And I'm going, well, I really wasn't bidding, but even if I retracted my messages when I bid, I really don't want, if I had a bid and retracted it, I didn't want the bid. <laughs> you know, and that's what I was saying to my head. And I, I don't know, we got, we got in trouble. <laughs> Mary caused trouble. <laughs> I I really do like Pearl Brown's auctions, and I will go again. I will go. I get confused real easy, and I got lost toward the end. Toward the end, she was selling those books, and I refreshed my screen because I have a lot of bad lag time. And I refreshed my screen, and I came back, and I didn't see her in that auction. And she must have restarted it. And that really confuses me when they stop the auction midstream and restart it because they're going to do something else. That throws me off, especially when I'm in the middle of refreshing my screen. Stream. So I got real confused. <laughs> and I got in trouble. <laughs> I just go across the internet causing trouble. What can I say? Hi, Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Jersey, Jersey lady. Aunt Beck says, Scott hates flavored coffee. And hates when I make it in the coffee pot. When we get settled, I'm going to buy a small coffee maker just for me and flavored coffee. I like my hazelnut. I do not like all flavored coffees. I can get that. But I love hazelnut coffee. I can take that. But most of my coffee... Now, Scott probably drinks his coffee black, but most of my coffee, I put, I put um, when I can afford it, I buy that tortini or, you know, that tortinelli. I put that in mine now. But I used to drink mine just with, well, when I lived up in Wisconsin and, and was living on a budget, a strict budget, I, I didn't even, I drank mine black. I, you know, I didn't buy half and half. Here I can buy some half and half for my coffee and I thank God every morning. <laughs> thank you for my coffee every morning. Janet says she loves French vanilla and hazelnut coffees. Yeah. Hi Del. Del Lobo, Delma Lobo. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. I'm going to scroll back through chat. Violet's here. Hi Violet. Hi Jersey. Hi Janet. Angie, hi Jan uh, Angie. I was reading Janet's and looking at Angie's. Violet's here. 
And Beck said they both drink black coffee. I could probably get used to drinking black coffee. It's just that I love that cream in it. Any more, like, I think the half and half probably has some sugar in it. I don't know. And I know that tortini, that tort, whatever that is, tortinelli, that flavoring probably has sugar in it. But I just put a couple drops in there. That's all you need. And I don't have it every day. For the last week, I've been drinking tea. That's what I have tonight is tea. And I don't put anything in my tea except for ice. No sugar. Pierre likes hazelnut and vanilla, Cheryl says. And she says, hi. Let's see. Let's go back through chat because I'm sure I missed a lot while I was opening the Happy Mail. Janet says, I love my French vanilla and hazelnuts. They're saying hi to Cheryl and Janet. Let's see. Suzanne says, I tried to send you blueberry, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, the coffee. When you receive your regular envelope from me. Oh, you sent another one? Not a happy mail? Oh, not a happy mail. Okay. I won't open it online. I haven't received it yet, Arlene. Alrighty. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Arlene. Susan's got, not Sue, Susan Gerald says, be right back, cat duty. Hi, Sandy. Sandy McNeese Lumber Mill. <coughs> you have a new subby. I, I subscribed to you today. Or was it yesterday? I can't remember. You have a new subby, Sandy. Thanks for coming in. Uh, I hope I didn't do anything there. I was trying to get the... Here, let me turn this off a minute. Get the... Speck off of my screen. <sighs> Go back into live chat. Let's see. Deborah says, I use those Torini... Torini? Is that what they call them? That syrup. So much that I have a large bottle pumps on my counter next to my coffee maker. Wow, cool. Hi, Norma, Branson, uh, Branson, and Nina, and Holly. I still have your postcards. I still have them. I don't think I've mailed anything since March. No, I mailed those erasers. Sometime last month, I mailed out erasers and something else. I got it written down. But I have to do a mailing again. I feel so bad. All right, we're not going to talk about that tonight, though. Hi, Corbins. Welcome, welcome. Corbins is here. Uh, Janice says, I'm with Scott. No flavored coffee unless it's flavored with good whiskey. <laughs> Janice. <laughs> Janice Glines. I'll have to call her Jan. Because Janice, I-C-E, sounds like Janet. J-A-N-E-T. I'll have to call Janice. Janice Glines, Jan. And Janet, Janet. <laughs> Joyce says, Mary, our troublemaker. Yeah, I got in a little trouble. <laughs> uh, but I never did see the ending of that one auction. I think she changed midstream. Because she was holding up those books. She was selling fabric sample books, and she was holding them up. And she started the auction, and I bid... And then I refreshed, and when I come back, they were doing something else. And when I scrolled up, I never saw the end of the auction. And that throws me off, because I think I'm bidding on something, and then all of a sudden I'm not. And I really truthfully wish that if they start an auction, that they would finish it before they switch. <laughs> you know? She could at least sold those three, because I wanted it. I really did want it, and... You know, by that time, it's just, I got to get out of here before I get in any more trouble. Okay, Jersey's here, Cheryl's here, Sandy's here, Aunt Beck says Scott hates flavored coffees. I saw Arlene's comment. Let's see. What else do we have? Susan, Gerald says, cool, Janet, I'm not cheap, but I know people are sensitive to the smells. 
what isn't one oh I can't scroll up anymore I lost it let's go down all right so what do I want to do let's get out oh, wait jump up jump up hold the phone let's I wish that I could see the time on this. Okay, it's 5504, 5505, so I'll put 56 on here. We're going to work in my ledger journal. If I can get out here fast enough. And even if it's not that close, I can I can uh, work in ledger journal. I know this throws it off a little. But this will, I think, will help me so much get through my post-stream work so much faster. I want to put happy mail, and I want to, I want to, uh, I want to put, I want to paint this. I think I'll paint it, well, green, of course. <laughs> of course. We're just going to paint the cover green. Oh, a gift for you. I don't know if I want to paint the back. Yeah, I think I will. I think this is, well, this is nice paper, but I think this is that suede paper. But I'm going to put her, her sticker on there. So let's do that. I got Deborah's, Deborah, it's going to get hot in here. It is going to get hot this weekend, and I got your fan blowing right on me. And I don't know what I dropped. I dropped something. Here, we're going to paint it this Christmas green. And I will probably go late tonight. I'm thinking I might do a marathon because I was lazy all day today. <laughs> I was very, very lazy today. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I think I'll tear this and tear it like this and put it here and in here like that. Like other way, Mary, like that. And things seem so dark to me tonight. Now, well, let's switch things around. I'm going to put my flowers over here the heat gun there all right and I need a paper towel oh come on I had them in my hand let's go back out to... so I'll put this with my stack of little journals I got Tanya's little journal and a couple little journals from Aunt Beck and one that I made that I didn't see uh, Barb Olin on this afternoon. Was she not on? Um, what else? Oh, I have that little journal that... I have several little journals. And so I'm going to stack them all up. Little ones like this. I'm going to stack them up and put a ribbon around them when they're done. And they may not be done till next year sometime. I'm, there's no there's no time frame on them. All right, we're just going to paint the Shannon Green journal green. Of course. We're going to put that eye on it. Shannon's eye. That eye has a name. I keep forgetting it. The all seeing eye. It would be something that Shannon would like. <laughs> yeah, we miss all Shannon's uh, videos. She she was streaming for quite a while there before she started her business. And then she started that business and she didn't have time to stream and now she's fighting for her channel back. And I'll come out 
when I'm done with this, putting stuff in my journals here. I'm going to try to do uh, work on project and then chat, and then work on project and then chat. So if I don't say hello to you when you first come in, I'll try to catch you when I come out for chat. And if I still don't catch you, I missed you. And if I missed you, let me know and I'll say hello to you. And uh, if you ask me a question and I miss it, ask me again or put that at sign around the Mary Atelier with no spaces in between the words. And that makes it red for me. And I might see it. I'm trying not to paint her label. But you know how that goes. There we go. And this paint is drying fast, let me tell you, because it's hot in here and the fan is blowing. There we go. Now. I think I can hit it with the heat gun, though, and dry it a little faster. Penelope, you're in the way. I can't wait to get those two little dolls that belong to the Island of Misfit Toys. I said, I'll take them. They'll have a home with me. I love Misfits. <laughs> I just have a heart for Misfits. Especially if they're toys. I think probably because I'm a misfit. Mary the misfit. Fibber. I'm loving it. I think that's probably dry. And do I trust this sticker? I want to, but should I? I think I'll put a little dab of glue in the center here, just so, just in case. Just in case, we'll just put a little dab of glue there. her eye goes, does it go like this or like that? I think it goes like this. And I'm going to put it right in. There we go. Now let's take that out. Let's take that out. And I just got a little bit of paint on the back, inside back. That's okay. And it got me a little tan and green. And you know what? She sent those little button things that came in that kit. I might make a closure for it, but not tonight. We'll let it. We'll let it look at us for a while. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and put some things in my ledger journal. I can't wait to try that New England coffee. Yeah. Karen K, bless your heart. Bless all your hearts. Now I might have to zoom out a little for this. Hold it. I've got to stand up. All right. Let's collage this in, this napkin. I wonder if I can collage, collage that. Cause see, my pan is, my pan is blowing, blowing. I wonder if I can do that with a glue stick. I think I can. Let's put my scissor there and my marker there, <laughs> and we're gonna try to collage that napkin down with a glue stick. We're going, this is Lori's page. So 
So I hope you all are heading for a nice weekend. I think Janet has had enough of storms and Cheryl and Kimberly. You guys all got caught by storms this week, didn't you? I saw Janet's post that she had a couple trees down. And I think Cheryl was hunkering down and Kimberly was... <laughs> I don't know what I don't know how bad Kimberly got hit, but they were all back east. Becky, did Greg get any storm in South Carolina? Of that hurricane that was moving up the coast, the east coast. And Lori, you're back that way in Jersey, aren't you? Yeah, I think you are. How are you faring? I got your happy mail. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can the fan's blowing pretty hard. Let's see if I roll this up a little if I can throw. The fan's blowing hard because it's hot in here. And I so appreciate that fan. But it blows my paper around. Alright. Now I'll just hold on to it. I've got to get my head up here. I've got to move it down a little so I can see where I'm going on this page. Because you kind of only get one chance here. But if I get wrinkles, it really doesn't matter that much. Let's put some more on this. Yeah. That's nice. I think I'll do it go over to the side here too. Oops. I'll, I'll come out, I'm going to try, I'm, what I'm going to try to do is do a segment, like now I'm working on putting things in my ledger journal, and then I'll come out and chat, I did that, ha opened happy mail, I think I'll try to chat between projects here, I think that'll work for me, now we got this beautiful gold, I think I saved two pieces out here. I think I don't really need two pieces. I might put one back. I'm going to put those, pop those beautiful ladies in there. Like this. Oh, I could just put it in there. Alright. Well, we're going to do that with tape and glue. Let's get the tape out. I think I'm going to work a little on the tag journal tonight. I meant to do that the other morning. I want to combine Tanya and Lisa's tag journal and napkin journal. And I might do a melted crayon page. I'm, I might be here all night tonight. I don't know. It, it depends on how tired I get. I might, it might come 12 o'clock and I'm ready to quit, but I don't know. The way I feel now is, like, I want to do art. I want to do art. I want to work in my journals. I'd like to finish up those uh, domino envelopes so I can get those sent out. And I bought some more dominoes today. Pearl was selling them. I didn't buy a whole, I think it was just a box, one box. Uh, four, I think. I'll probably keep those for myself. But that means I can send some extras. I think I might only have about six left out of that box that I was keeping for me. Ooh, I want to put glue on that. I put glue around the edges here to hopefully protect whatever I put in there from sticking onto the tape. It doesn't always work for me, but that's the theory behind it. <laughs> you have to kind of let it dry. And if I smush it a little, that might help too. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. 
So if I put this here and just don't push it all the way down, and then Lori sent me all these. Now I'm saving your other foil papers out, Lori, and I'm putting these beautiful ladies in here, and I might not push them all the way down yet until this glue kind of cures. Now I have Santa, but I think I'll, I'll, uh, well, what I like about Santa's, let me get it out here, I put it over here. I like the inside of her envelope, and I like that it's from Finland. What I think I'll do is take and turn her, I couldn't use that envelope. You know what, I can tear it. Let me tear it, Santa. I, I think Santa's probably, she's from International. She usually comes in my morning streams. I'm going to use this and let me fold fold this so just the stamp is showing like that and we'll put it in like that yeah and then we'll put Santa's and uh, well this is Lori's beautiful card that goes in here too so we'll put Shannon's and Santa's over here And I'm going to keep Santa's bits and pieces out to work with. And I'll put that with my happy mail. So, but I think what I want, let's put some washi, because see, here's the inside of the envelope where it was glued down. Let's see if I have some matching washi tape here. Uh, some pretty kind of a blue sorts of I have green green and Norma if you're listening I still have your postcard <laughs> I'll try to get this I'll try to get mail out next week right I get uh, with the heat and everything here I like this kind of a green with with white tulip flowers and I'm just, before I even put it down, and what I like about this envelope is, I don't think you guys can see it very well, but because it's gray, and it's got these little, it almost looks like a, little squares of, of a bunches of flowers. So let's just, right along the edge here, I'm going to put that washi. I'm just going to edge it with washi tape. like that <laughs> yes Mary put it on straight I swear sometimes this washi tip tape was made for left-handed people because I want to tear it this way, but when I hold it that way, it looks upside down to me. But then I've got a crooked eye too, so just ignore me. working in her ledger journal. I'll be out when I'm done. Yeah, I think I think 
think that I will try to work up something every month. Now I'm still in the planning stages of this, so so uh, don't hold me to it right now. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> but I would like to get something like I'm, I want a copycat Dee Dee. She she's sending out when people do something nice for her, like happy mail or super chats and stuff like that. She gets her address, and she makes enough art. She makes an art piece, and she prints off. I think that's what she does. She prints off thank you cards. And I ha I just don't feel like I've been thanking you guys properly. I say thank you, but sometimes that's not a proper thank you. Sometimes it, it needs to be a little more. And at least you'll get something from me officially. Because you guys, you send me such nice stuff that makes me feel like, gosh. And postage isn't cheap these days. So that paint is pretty thin, I'd, I'd say. What did I, did I put it back on it? I'm get, I think I'm getting down to the end of this. I put it upside down. I was using this to do those foamy stamps. It just looks pretty streaky to me. It looks pretty watery. And of course this brush that I'm holding in my hands came from Sue's. guys are are so generous and kind to me. I don't deserve you as friends, but I'm very thankful for each and every one of you. There we go. And I'm going to I'm going to smear this up on my desktop. I'm going to start doing a painty desktop paper here. And I'll put that brush back in my water. And let's dry her off. Happy Mail book, like some of you have, a special Happy Mail book, but I find that I am just, I get it done if I put things in my journal when I open things, like what I am now, and I may take some of those Happy Mail and start putting them in my journal, put them, maybe I'll put them in my July journal because it has a lot of empty pages. And then just continue putting happy mail in when I get happy mail like I am now. It just seems to work for me. I get so many things going that, that I can't keep track of it all. Now let's see. Here. I put that blue away too fast. on top of my wastebasket. No, I got a book on my ledger's under here. My book is on top of it. I'll have to show you the book I got out. 
I probably won't do anything with it. But I need to start taking the stuff upstairs. I had this one sitting on the stair steps and I got it out again. <laughs> Oh, we've had we've been having tomatoes out of our garden. Oh, they're beautiful tomatoes this year. They're get I, I tore those Mary those morning glories out. I told my brother, he said, My tomatoes aren't getting ripe and I said they need sunshine. So I went out there when I mowed the lawn. Was it last Friday or the Friday before and I tore all those morning glories away from those tomato plants and boy they ripe well we've been having some hot weather. They ripened up. Oh, they're beautiful tomatoes. Yum. We had bacon tomato sandwiches tonight. No lettuce. We didn't have any lettuce. My brother won't buy a head of lettuce to go with the... <laughs> he is a bacon and tomatoes. Fine. All right. We'll have it that way. Sounds good. He likes to cook it, so I eat it. All right. So this is from Santa. And I'm going to put it like that. And this is from Shannon Green. And let's see. I think I'll bobby pin a card here. And we'll have to get out that Muse Garden sometime. Shannon Green's kit that I ordered. It's a Muse Garden. Make your own Muses. Little happy fit doll. Out of found objects. There we go. There, I'm happy with that. So, so it is 121.45 into the stream. Let's go in here and I'm going to come out for chat. One. I'll put 22, <laughs> 1, 22, 15 probably, and I'm just going to put in chat. It's close enough. I'll find it when I come, when I, I have a general sense of where it's at. Okay, what are you all saying? Aunt Beck says, lay them on their sides and cover the, cover the stem up to the leaves to see if I can get some more tomatoes out of them. Oh! Her potted plants have gotten so tall. I told Scott I'm thinking of carefully moving them down to the pumpkin patch. Lay them on their side and cover the stem up to the leaves to see if we can get some more tomatoes out of them. Janet, Jan says sweet corn is a tie, at least with fresh tomatoes. Yes. Now our sweet corn, I just about, I looked at the, they had some frozen sweet corn yesterday in the, in the, store the grocery store and I said let's get some my brother said nah so <laughs> next time hopefully I can the, around here the farmers have uh, little farm stands out and next time I drive out of town I might try to find somebody who's selling sweet corn because I have a feeling that when my nephew when he took my nephew fishing that they raided the sweet corn patch because my brother hasn't brought any in uh, he said that, well, the, we had the wind blow some over, but still. They know how I feel. I threatened my brother to grow my own two rows of sweet corn. <laughs> Don't touch it. If you want to give yours to your son, that's fine with me, but I want some sweet corn. I have to go buy my own. <laughs> he says, okay. <laughs> what did Sandy say? Sandy says, oh, you're cancer free? What did she say? I'm cancer free. Oh, congratulations, Sandy. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Everybody give Sandy a, a pat on the a pat on the back. Jersey says it's good, Jen, but the tomatoes are so good. Let's see. Candy says, yes, but corn has not been that great this year. That's true. That's true, Candy. Cheryl says, congrats, Candy. Everybody is saying, hi, Lisa. Welcome, Lisa, my eclectic life. I'm going to start working on some tags next. I've been saving some tags. Oops, this is a picture, I think. 
I think Sharon Lombard sent this postcard picture to me. I'm going to save it out here. I've been saving some tags to paint for the tag book. So I'm going to at least paint them. I'm going to try to catch up with you guys. We went shopping yesterday. We had to go grocery shopping. We were running out of groceries. I said, I can't make zucchini bread with, with no eggs and no flour. <laughs> My brother's wanting me to bake some zucchini bread, but then he went and bought donuts and rolls, cinnamon rolls, <laughs> and cake. And I'm going, well, I was going to make some blueberry muffins, and you want zucchini bread, but you have donuts and rolls and cake. I think I'll wait a while. <laughs> but we still need flour and sugar. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what else did I miss here? We're talking about the tomatoes. Candies, uh, Sandy is cancer free. Jersey tomatoes in August. Nothing beats them. They are so yummy. Mary, I spent two years in bed with cancer. You and your videos got me healthy. Well, I don't think it was my videos. I may have been a little bit of company with everybody else here. Let's just, it's not just me. You know, it's this entire group of people. And it's not just my stream. It's when Becky streams. I miss when Becky doesn't stream. And I'm so glad she's doing some, some videos. Um, when one of the mods put uh, a link to Aunt Beck's Creations channel, because we miss when you don't stream. She said she's going to stream once a month now, so that'll give me a stream fix, Becky, Becky. And when she does those, she did a sewing video. And she did a crochet video. Now, I may be able to keep up with the crochet a little. I've been tempted to Jada in Stitches. She, she's doing that, was it a Granny Square game? But I don't know. I'm following them at least. So, but getting back to Sandy's comment, it's our whole group. It's all of you and how you support each other. It's, you know, I'm just a channel. And Lisa's just a channel, and Becky's just a channel. It's you guys who come and support each other and chat with each other and, and encourage each other. That's what counts. That's what, what, uh, what brings us through some of the hard times. When you're going through hard times, it's nice to have somebody to chat with or even just to read the chat. You don't have to chat. If you're out there lurking and if you just want company, you don't have to chat. Just enjoy us. Um, as, as long as you're not a troll. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just come for company. Sometimes life gets hard. Life has gotten hard for me. Especially right before I came back down to Nebraska. I was so discouraged. And I have to tell you, if it would not have been, there were two people... Uh, other than the art, the artists here that really helped me through it, and one was LP Redflower, bless her heart. She is such a sweetheart. She really, when I needed to talk, she was there. And Susan Hiles, both of those. Now they don't come in here much because they're pretty busy. Uh, LP Redflower does a lot of uh, haul videos from like Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby and that. I like to watch. She showed up. Uh, she did a video today of a bird journal that she made. Real pretty uh, bird journal. But I've been through those hard times. Mine has not been health-wise as, as much as losing my job and having to move and unexpected things in my life and losing my sister-in-law. Those times aren't easy for any of us. And then with this hidden enemy floating around, that isn't easy in, in the way it's affecting us. So... Mary's up on her, on her drama-free Friday soapbox. <laughs> but any of the art streams, Tanya McGuire, um, This, That, and Chat, she streams on Sunday afternoons. Lisa uh, Conway streams on Monday nights. Uh, Tanya's is at 12 noon central, and Lisa's at 7 p.m., I believe, central on Monday nights, and Tanya's on Sunday afternoon. Um, Aunt Beck is doing standalone videos, and she said she was going to stream 
once a month, and I forget which week it was. Was it the third or fourth one? The second? Uh -uh. Well, she'll tell us. Um, Dee Dee Willingham streams and Jersey. Can't forget Jersey Crafter streams. <laughs> Jersey in her in her craft bubble and Rosemary Morris streams. Any of us. Go pop in because the you know our our art community is more than art. We're just we're it's, it's the encouragement and the friendship you find, and that doesn't come from just me or any one of the channel hosts. That comes from all of you who come in here. All right, Susan said I was watching Forty Nine Dragonflies today. Oh my goodness, Susan. Oh, Dragon. <laughs> must have been a channel name. <laughs> I thought you were watching 49 Dragonflies. You know, Becky and Scott were watching Dragonflies eat mosquitoes. <laughs> anyway, Susan said, I was watching 49 Dragonflies today. She used a Tim Holtz ink dauber bottle and briskly pounced on the paper and made those plots like that on a napkin. Yeah. That's probably... Well, I don't know if that's how these were done, because this is a napkin, but... Ink splots. Yeah, I love that napkin. Thank you so much for it, Lori. Let's see. Renee says, hello, Kanga. Oh, hi, Kanga. Welcome, Kanga. Kangaroo babe. Yeah, it's... Uh, did Lisa ask about the napkin? The napkin is a Jane Davenport. Lori Pink Girly sent it to me in Happy Mail. It's a Jane Davenport napkin. This is a Lori Page, and this is a uh, Santa. Um, Shannon Green. <laughs> Let me just skip my mind there a minute, Page. And then Karen Kay sent me some New England coffee. And when I'm all done with this, I'm going to cut up the envelope. Because <laughs> I love the New England houses here all around. Look, there's a covered bridge. Yep, this is going to become a, this is going to become a journal page when I get all done with the coffee. Small company, big coffee. Thank you so much for that. All right. What else did I miss here? Mary, you are so caring, giving, and generous. Uh, diddle to you guys. I think you guys are the caring, giving, and generous folks. Aww. Aww, thank you. Jen says, still, that much of a fine for grass is nuts. What happened? Our city will give you a warning, and then you pay whatever they pay to have somebody mow it. Oh, mowing grass? Yeah, our grass is going to have to be mowed. I just mowed. It's growing again. But it's hot. It's hot. It was hot yesterday. It's hot today. It's going to be hot all weekend. I'll probably be mowing sometime next week. Aunt Beck said, unless our house, unless your house is the land of the yard Nazis like ours, unless your house is in the land of the yard Nazis like ours, where we get threats of fines up to $2,000 if the lawn gets too long. Wow. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I think my brother would sell the house. <laughs> $2,000 and if he didn't mow all summer and they had to come mow seven times a, a summer, well, every two weeks all summer long would be, what, two, four, six, probably seven or eight times. $2,000 be $16,000. I could get me a nice used car for that. <laughs> my brother would be selling the house. Well, he mowed the big, the the long grass out by our garage because it was it was almost a foot high, I swear. But he said it wasn't too bad because it was where they dug up that dirt for the when they built the garage, and then the he calls it water grass took over it, and it was high. But he said it wasn't thick, so he said it was pretty easy to mow. But it's getting tall again. He said it grows fast. All right, if I missed. Anybody's chat, I apologize. 49 dragonflies. <laughs> I had to check. I think you have to give due credit. 
Well, dragonflies, Becky says that dragonflies eat mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, is APG Jamie in here? You are one of the most, Renee says, APG Jamie, you are one of the most uplifting persons to watch on YouTube. I just love your laugh. There's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Welcome, welcome. And Norma's here. Jersey said, I used to have a cool coffee bag in my journal before too, Mary. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to drink the coffee first. I might just put it in my old bag and, and, uh, and, uh, or put it in a Ziploc bag. And I got a little coffee container and maybe I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in my, I have a, you know how my, my brother used to buy, now he buys, he, he likes instant coffee. But they used to buy Folgers coffee. Whoops. They used to buy Folgers coffee in the big round canister. I don't like Folgers. It's not. I won't drink it. And not now he he doesn't like perked coffee. I I I said, do you have some of my perked coffee? I'll make enough for both of us. No, he says I can't tell the difference between instant and perk. And I'm going. You can't. You can't tell the difference. I tried to drink some of that instant when it when uh, mine ran out. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. <laughs> I'd rather drink tea. So, but we've got that empty big red Folgers container. And what I do is I just drop the bag down inside like this. You know, just drop it down and then scoop it out that way. But I might put this in a, in a Ziploc bag so I can have the, <laughs> so I can have the, the wrapper. Oh, there's Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Welcome, Tanya. Mary, Tanya McGuire was here earlier and is working. Oh, thank you, Jan. Well, if you're lurking, Tanya, welcome, welcome. Tanya McGuire, she streams on, uh, ooh, I'm buffering. I buffered a little there. Uh, Tanya McGuire streams on Sunday afternoons at 12. And uh, I don't know, I don't, what was I doing Sunday afternoon? I think I watched a little of yours, Tanya, and then I then I got distracted. Sometimes I get distracted during the streams, but I think I was there, and I was watching and chatting, and then I had to run off and do something, and my head never came back, I don't think. <laughs> but, but be sure to catch Tanya. She does zines, and she sent out, earlier this year, she sent out these little journals and I love my little journal that I've been working on let's this is still part of my chat here I'm not gonna jump up but jump up here oh no this this is still part of chat this is the little journal that Tanya sent out and uh, I've been working in it pretty consistently pages I got a page here to do we did the sewing page last, and I, most of my front pages here are done. Most of this is a page to do, map page. I might leave a map page. This is a Arlene page. I want to do. Oh, I put that peacock. Let's. Hmm. Wouldn't that gold look nice there? No. You know what would really look nice there would be a napkin. Well, I'm not going to work in this one tonight, though. But I got some... Wow, I got more... I got more done than I thought I did. I got this one. One, two. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to put something there. Three, four, five. Got a mosquito fly. I'm on a dragonfly. There's a mosquito buzzing around me. Five and a half. I want to do more to that. I'm going to leave that. So I got about six pages, and I want to work on the inside cover to bring out the fairies. About six pages in the cover to do in Tanya's journal, and I can call it done. But it, I wasn't working in it for the longest time. I couldn't find it. But now that I've found it, I just really love how it's coming together. 
So after I get that done, I have this that they um, sent with, uh, was it the swap? That, what swap did we do? One of the swaps recently, and she sent these little journals. Or I got this from her. Was that with the swap? I can't remember. They came in this beautiful, this might have been, this might have been the, I won, I won one of her early birds. Was this your early bird envelope? And she sent this little journal. I'm going to start working in Becky's little journal. This might have been her early bird prize. I can't remember. But I got this from Becky. I'm going to start working in that next. All right. So I think I want to do some work here. Let's get out some paper. I'm going to have to weight this paper down, uh, my wax paper down, or it's blow away on me. I guess in this case, you guys can hold this side. And coffee. We'll put the coffee on the other side. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to put the scissors away. And I want, uh, uh oh, what did I do with it? Hmm. Uh oh, where did it go? It probably fell over the cliff. Is it over the cliff? I don't see it. Well, I'm looking for my white. <laughs> Maybe I stuck it in here way at the back. Sometimes I do that. No, it's just black. Well, we could use up this black for on those tags instead of white. I want white for the, well, fiddlesticks. Hold it a minute. Hold it a minute. It might have fallen. Yeah, it did. Here it is. I'm going to do some. I don't have gesso. I have paint. Whew. Man, I'm almost tempted to go in there and turn that air conditioner on. It is really muggy in here, even with the fan going. This is about empty. I think I'll save that for another time. And this is just setting up for my... And I really don't mind if I get blue on these. But let's see if I can't get the paint out of this brush. as much as I can. Throw that towel away now. Yeah. You have to set up between projects here. This is what I hope that you guys can skip over in the video chapters. Alright, there we go. Alrighty. So what I want to do is I want to gesso out these tags for the tag journal. And I think Tanya and Lisa were making, oh this is, I probably won't gesso, I might gesso the back. This came in Shannon Green's kit, but I'm going to use it in my tag journal. It's from, uh, it's from Wilson Art Laminate. This is a laminate tag and I like this. That this is a pen plus gear. This needs to be fixed. This is Elmer's Extreme. That's a marks a lot. And these are stickers. And that's enough to start with. I've got other tags. So, it is 1.43.51 minutes into the chat here, it says. So, I'll put 1.40. Was that a fly? Hold it. Okay white paint on me there. Let's put 145 by the time I get done here. One. Just so I know the general the general time. So I'm going to put tags tags save. Alright, you guys are going to hold on to it there. Get out of here. You're going to get swatted. I was threatening to swat you the other day. 
and let's just let's see this one needs to be repaired a little I think I'll just repair it with some washi tape let's repair it with this this right in here it'd help if I'd open it right there and this has to be boring but maybe I'll make the tags tonight Shh, get out of here fly i'm sure he thinks i have something to eat that's all they want is food <laughs> or maybe he's just trying to pester me maybe he just wants to pester me yeah i think that's good enough to hold it it's a little torn in there let's glue that down these tags Product tags, unless you're very careful, they can get a little hard to open. Don't want to lose Shannon Green's journal. Doesn't? Don't you think that needs some gold? I do. We'll be working with that. Put it up with my little journals. This should not take too long. All right, let's go back out here. At least I'm with you here. just puts I've got a lot on that I'm just gonna put a little on these like this uh, paint is not thick paint to get a good coat you have to let it dry and give it a second coat especially over the colored areas here the white areas aren't gonna matter as much But I'll be, uh, it really doesn't matter either if it's transparent coat because I'm going to be putting napkins over them. I'm going to be putting napkins. And Lori sent me some beautiful Jane Davenport napkins. Hmm. Hmm. Some of those might look good on here. See how fast that went? And let's do the back of the laminate. I think I can I get that off. It's coming off. It's coming off. Almost. Like I said, on some of these it doesn't matter if I don't get a, a thick coat because I'm going to be putting a napkin on over it. I hear a train. We've got the door open. That's probably where that fly came from. The front door. We've got a screen door, but they get in anyway. Those flies get in. I'm going to put just a little bit more on this. Also bring it over here. Yeah, here comes a choo-choo train. Well, I tell you, that must have a resist of some sort on it. That's that Elmer's glue. This is the glue stick package. This is the marks a lot. It doesn't want to stick up. It probably has some plastic on it from the case. What do they call it? That casing on it. That plastic. Alright, let's hit it with the heat gun.
now I have, I'll have to reach for it. I have that book cover that I'm going to put my, that I started for the napkin journal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to combine the napkin and the tag, the napkin journal and the tag journal, and make one big journal out of it for both July and August. Because I can't keep up with those girls. My goodness, they do a lot of work, Tanya and Lisa. They're always doing something, jelly printing and mystery journals. I finally finished my mystery journal, but I haven't been working in it. Neptune journal, tag journal, scrunchy book journal. They're busy as bees. Busy bees. I think I can turn these over. And give it a coat on this side. Now, am I going to put napkins on both sides? I think I might because they're going to be tags. Let's jessel both sides. We'll decide that when I get there. And we'll just see how much I need here. Woo! Hi, Loretta! Your heat gun looks like mine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I tell you, well, see, because I get it on my hands, and then I pick up my heat gun to work with it, and that's how our heat guns get so pretty, huh, Loretta? Because we don't stop and wash our hands every time we reach for a heat gun. Now, I probably, I may put the napkins on the hair and get a base napkin. I don't know if I'll use all those Jane Davenport napkins on here. I might use them on the fronts of a couple, but I've got other napkins. But I probably will not finish the entire tags tonight because I want to do some other things tonight, too. And we will see how tired I am at 12. I, I was thinking I might go late tonight, but I don't know. If I can make it or not, I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, getting old. All right, let's hit it with the heat gun here. I'm putting my hand here so you guys don't get too hot over there. <laughs> I'm protecting you from the heat. The no heat is coming your way. I think that's probably enough pain. Let's go to the side. At least close the cover in case I knock it off. And it won't. I'll tell you, I'm real proud about how good I'm keeping this carpet. And I could have had several disasters here. And I try to keep my paint closed and my water jug out of the way. will not absorb the paint, so it's going to take a little while for it to dry. And it up there. 
All right, that's really good enough. Now, I think we're gonna put the napkins on here. At least on some of them. And let me reach down here. And I found some of these that I got from Pearl. And I have Lori's, but I don't know, Lori's are precious. <laughs> Lisa, they're too precious to you. stack of them here that I got from one of Pearl's auctions and I spent some time out on the front porch oh the wind's blowing them let's put that washi tape on them I spent time out on the front porch the whole afternoon taking the backs off of them I think Becky's are in here too I guess that's all of them but I got some more I found some more and they're in by my recliner we're not going to use all of these tonight. Let's see. I got paint on my brush. Let's swish it up here on my drop paper. And I'll move that tag a little. Let's get out of my brush here as much as I can. We're just going to paint my drop paper so that I'll probably eventually cut it off and put it in my wax one of my wax paper rolls all right so I got let's see I got a lemon and a lemon ooh these are pretty flowers let's use these I'm gonna need some more washi tape we'll use those that's pretty this is pretty we'll use that <laughs> got sunflowers I'd show you everything but the fan will blow them away mm, I got these hummingbirds one two three four five I'm trying to do something different on everyone uh, got to travel one yeah yeah let's put Becky's gold on the laminate one let's put it now I mean it won't all go on there but all right so I got them all weighted down I'm gonna work on them one at a time now I'm six feet away from the desk again and I want my glue pot. So let's do it this way. I think they're dry enough I can stack them up. If they're not, I'll pull them apart. Deborah, your fan is working really good tonight. <laughs> All right, washi tape. So we're gonna put this beautiful napkin, I think I'll put it on both sides. Since it seems to wanna go that way. So, and it goes clear up to almost the top of this, of these. So I'm gonna have to go turn that fan around. It's blowing too much. Hold it a minute. I'm gonna face it the other way. Face it so it blows on my back and not in my face. Hold the phone. It'll still be blowing in my room, but not on my desk so much. There. Woo! What did I step on? Piece of painter's tape. Do you do that? Step on. Walk across the room and step on a piece of painter's tape. Oh, and there's the lid to my spray. I was holding that spray out from the other morning. I used this art spray. I haven't put it away till I found the lid. Well, I found the lid. It was on that painter's tape. All right. Oh, that's much better. I don't get as much 
air on my face, but... And the cooler's out in the kitchen, Deborah. All right, so what I want to do is I want to roll it up this way. So I'm going to tear it. And let's roll it this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. And I think I set up to the top of those flowers. Tear it there. And put it here. And here. And I'll have a little left over. Okie dokie, that's what I'll do. So, and of course my brush is full of blue paint. And we'll save this for another page. Okay, I want to use that, but I should get that other brush out. I don't want to spend the time looking for it. No, it's not full of blue paint, it's full of white paint, which is really okay. Let's wash it out. Now go do the towels tonight. And I'll do with them. Honestly. Where did I put the towel? Oh, right here under my face. Put them in the waste basket so I know where they are. I don't want to jessel out my pretty napkin. Alrighty. So we're going to do this side first. Ew! Ew! Let's get rid of that. Glue at the top. Glue gunk. Ew, it's sticking on my finger. Yucky poo. Get off of me. Ew. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got some white paint on my napkin. Well, it won't hurt it. Alright. Woo! I might have to turn that fan back on me. I might have to go in there and turn on that air conditioner. I don't know if I can stand it all night. It's really hot in here. Even with that fan going. I don't know how my brother stands it. He seems to be able to take the heat a lot better than me. I think it's <laughs> he's cheap. He doesn't want to spend the money. But I've been giving him extra money out of my social security to help pay for the air conditioning because I use it and it bill it the bill goes up and that he seems happy with that I'm gonna have to um, enjoy the flowers I'm gonna go turn on the air conditioning because it is just way too hot here I have to shut the front door you'll hear a big bang when I shut it take a while to cool off the place but with this fan blowing that air in here that will help thank you for your patience thank you for your patience it's gonna get up it's gonna get hot this weekend Lucia's I'm in our way she told me last week she said Mary it's gonna get hot and she was right what they have out west usually comes our way and it comes through ours and then it goes off to you guys but you guys have had enough you east coast folks have had enough bad weather i think oh 
We're just going to wrap these flowers around this tag. And I'm just going to set it aside and let the heat dry it. We'll set it right up here for a while. Let's go to the next one. Let's do Becky's laminate tag. Here I'm calling it Becky's laminate. It's Shannon's laminate and Becky's gold napkin that she sent me. I think she might have sent me two because I had one that I was using the other morning, but I don't want to dig it out. I'm just right I'm gonna cut it. Right there. And I'm going to leave the laminate side alone for now. I might do something with the vinyl on this tag. The Shannon's Greens vinyl that she sent. I ordered a, a bag of scrap vinyl. Wouldn't that be fun to put some of that on this tag? Yes, I think it would. I'll come out and chat when I'm done with this. We're just going to kind of put glue this down a little. I'm trying not to press too hard because I want the embossing to show. I'm just kind of lightly going over it. There we go. If I can get it up. And I can. There we go. Now, where am I going to put that? Over here somewhere. I want to find room for them. Ah, oh, right here would be fine. Just like that. Next is this long, thin one. I tore a little of that, but that doesn't matter because it's going to go in there. Let me put it here. And this is the Dollar Tree Hummingbird napkin. I really do like this. For Dollar Tree, they really nailed it. They really nailed it when they did this. I think this was their spring. I put this napkin on my glue pot. I really do like it. And the last time I was in Dollar Tree, they still had some of these. I don't know if they do anymore, but... For a dollar, for a dollar, they were pretty good. Oh, I just felt some of that air. Wee, that felt good. Okay. Now, I'll probably do some other things with tags. I'm going to have to go back and see what watch the videos that Tanya put in her stream and see what Tanya and Lisa are doing but this gives me a good start I got five of them just sold and well I got one more to go here and we're just gonna let them air dry because I wouldn't be surprised if they were dry in 10 minutes here one more one more. Oh, two more. I'm sorry, two more. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I only got three done. All right, I'm going to do this beautiful one here. And since I already messed it up there, I'm going to take this. And I kind of 
messed up that napkin, so let's just cut it off here. And we'll save these. These came from Pearl Brown's auction. Now, I'll have some at the top, so I'm going to take and cut off some of this to put up at the top. Okay. I can't remember. I watched I watched Tanya do a little on Sunday. And then I got distracted. I uh, and I couldn't watch them Tuesday and Thursday we had to go grocery shopping. So I'm a little behind where they are. But I think they just started their napkin journal on Tuesday. So there is that. And we're going to put this one up here. Right up in there. Shall I put it that way? Yeah, I think I shall. That'll be the top of the tag anyway. Now I'm not doing the backs of these. I did the back of that one. Eh, I'm not going to go back. Oops, too much, too much, too much. Lift it up a little. Did you hear the door slam? <laughs> uh, that front door, it in hot weather like this, it welts, and we have a hard time locking it if we don't slam it good shut. And we have a hard time getting it open in the morning. We tug and pull. One morning, my brother was sitting out on the front porch, and I pulled at the door to open it and made a big old creaking sound. Scared him. That <laughs> scared him. All right, I got this little skinny one. And I'm gonna put a travel. I'm gonna put a travel on it. Should I put the Paris on it? I think I shall. Let's put the, cause I kinda got it torn there anyway. Let's put that up there. We'll cut it here. We're just gonna cut it. And I think I used this, I know I did on the cover. And I don't know if I used the whole one. Probably not. It's probably in that stack someplace. But we'll just use them. I think I got this one from Pearl, too. And I got them to use in the napkin journal. All right. I'll be out in a minute. Well, maybe a minute or two more because I want to do something else before I put this away. We're going to do the Paris one here. Right here. And we'll just set it aside to dry. And I may come back on one of my morning streams and work on these. And we'll set it over here. Okay, I have something else I want to do before I put all of this away. I can put the glue away. I'm done with the glue. Close it up so I don't spill it. That's my model. Let's put the washi tapes away. I don't need those anymore. <sighs> I have another one of these that I want to gesso. Because I'm going to do that flower and uh, galaxy row. Just flowers and galaxy, maybe clouds. And we'll just leave it like that. And I got glue on this brush, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint here. Shouldn't take me too long. Now, I used galaxy paper on my other box. I might use floral on this. 
my melted wax crayon. And these are just going to be for me for now. But I've got, I've been saving wax paper boxes. I haven't been throwing them away. So I might, in the future, no promises, that's a future might, do one for giveaway. But I want to see, I want to make sure they're tearing good. And these don't, again, just like the tags, I like a coat on them, but they don't have to be coated so thick that everything is covered because I'm going to cover them with, with uh, crayon, melted wax crayon paper. So let's see if I can paint this while I'm at it. Just give it a, use what's on my brush. Let's hold it up here. And if I don't get it totally, like you can still see through this paint, if it's not totally blocked out, the crayon will cover it up, the crayon page. Boy, it's warm in here. Man, I can't wait till that air conditioner gets going. Let's get my, I mean, it's going. I can't wait till it cools things down. It has to be in the 90s here. see what my thermometer says. Oh, I should bring that. I should go out in the kitchen and get that cooler. It says 93. What does it say here? Wait, that's the... Is that the out... I gotta get it closer here. No, 83. It's 83 in here. That's warm enough. It feels like it's 93. All right. Now that I know it's not 93, I feel cooler. <laughs> Don't tell my brother he'll make me turn it off if it's not in the 90s. I love my big brother, though. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a, he saves his pinches his pennies. That's how he paid for his garage, though. He paid for it all. I don't mean to talk against him. If it weren't for him, I'd be homeless. I keep telling him that. And then I tell him, he says, what are you going to do when I die? I look at him and I say, don't die. <laughs> I said, don't die. And then I say, well, I could die before you do. Uh, what are you going to do when I die? Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm a veteran. <laughs> yeah, he will be. His son and his, his son's wife will make sure. They'll, his, they'll make sure if, I, if something happens to me that, that he's taken care of. But I'm not so sure he would do that for me. You know, I didn't know them very well till I came back down here. I knew my nephew. I used to hold my nephew and play Cookie Monster with him. But I really, you know, he grew up while I was off working. I never really knew him too much as an adult. And then he got married right underneath my nose. That's really good enough on this, on here. Let's do the top and bottom. What did, I didn't put that brush in the water, no. I need to put some paint on the ends here. Ha! Ah, I thought I was done. I'm not done. We're not going to cover this tonight. I'm just giving it a coat of gesso. And you know, I was thinking about my brother smokes those cigarettes. I don't, I don't need that. I need my brush. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, Shannon Green 
was showing that art machine where they, instead of selling cigarettes, they sell art products and cigarettes. I'm thinking, you know, I could convert a bunch of his cigarette packages. Yeah. I'm not going to commit to anything, though, because I don't do good with commitment. You guys know that. All right. That's really good enough because I'm going to be covering it. So let's swish out my brush. Let's give this a dry on both sides and I'll call this. Oh, I put a little pink the inside. I probably should while I'm here. Sure, what did you do on a Friday night? I watched Mary paint a wax paper box white. <laughs> You watch paint dry? Yeah, basically. <laughs> How long did it take? Hours. Really, it doesn't take that long. That's dry already. It's drying real fast in here. Let's paint the other side of it. It'll just take a little, a little swishing around here. Did I put my brush in the water? Yes, I did. Bowie. Hold the phone. <sighs> I don't like it to be wet and soggy. All right, let's paint the inside here. I do like apple barrel paint for this, for this type of thing, a project. I use a lot of that apple barrel. I get the Two, at Walmart, the 250. I stocked up on it. I've got enough bottles to to get me through a month or two. I looked it for it on Amazon, and it's more expensive on Amazon. Don't tell Walmart. Of course, I guess Amazon gets it from whoever, whoever's selling it. Ah, it's on my finger. Yuck, I'm getting paint on my finger. What did you do Friday night? I watched Mary paint a box white. What kind of a box? A wax paper box. Oh, was that exciting? <laughs> no, not really. You ever play those games like solitary games? And you'll be playing along and, and you'll win one and then they'll send you a message. Are you enjoying this game? <laughs> Are you enjoying this game? I never answer them. I figure if I answer them, they'll make me pay for it. I like to play the daily games. I don't sit there and play them all day. I play the dailies. I play about four games. I play the word search game, the solitary game. I play a bubble game and a, what's the other one? Oh, a spider solitary. All right. Yeah, I play them. I shouldn't, but I do. I don't know what I got there. Looks like uh, 
Looks like it's resisting it. Huh. Could that be wax on there? I might have to put a, a paper over that. All right. We'll just set it aside to dry and we'll call that done. We're done painting. I'm coming out in a minute. I'll be out in a minute. Yeah. Throw this mess away. Another towel. I'll put, I'm going to clean my hands just a little here. the top yuck off of them. What did you do Friday night? I watched Mary wash your hands. Oh. <laughs> did you get them clean? No. <laughs> Not quite. I just want to get the top crust off. I'll have to go wash them with lava soap. Alright. Let's look at chat. Catch up with you guys on your chatting. Let's see. It is 2.26. Well, we'll make it 2. We'll make it 2.28 by the time I get it done. 2.28. Oh, oh. Chat. I'll see if this helps me put in those video chapters easier. Okay, I'm coming out. Hi, Josie. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Carla. Out? Well, I mean, I'm coming. When I say I'm coming out, I mean I'm going to quit working on my project and chat to you with you guys. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> she says out. Holly says, Josie, we had a week of very hot weather. Also, I hope you stay cool. I think we got your hot weather, Holly. Hi, Susan Hill. Welcome, welcome. Holly says, no snake when I got home. <laughs> what did Kendra say? Kendra says, Candy Crush all the way for me. You guys like Candy Crush? I think I played that. I think that was still on that laptop when Ann sent me the laptop. And I played it a couple times on the laptop. But I play all those other games on uh, mobile phone. And uh, I haven't downloaded that one. I like Solitary pretty good. I usually, it usually doesn't take, sometimes they stump me. I do it because it's so relaxing. And I go, well, at least I accomplished something. <laughs> I think I beat Solitary one day. All right, what else? Lisa says, hey, Lori. Sue says, hey, Frank. Oh, is Frank here? Hi, Tess. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Mary, too. Yeah, Artomat, Holly. Yeah. See, my brother just throws away his cigarette packages. I think I'm going to make him start saving them for me. <laughs> He'll say, you're going you're gonna to paint my cigarette packages, too? <laughs> He'll say, you don't get them until you finish that typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the typewriter's still sitting out there on the dining room table. Uh, half, well, the keys are half off, but I have to cut them with the what with the cutters, and then snap them. I have to cut them, get a good cut on them, and then I bend them back and forth. I pulled the keys, the the letter part off. That part comes off, but the wire part that looks like legs. I'm cutting those off because the screws are in there so tight that we can't get them out. He'll probably he probably won't let me have a cigarette packages until I get the typewriter cleared off the table. Thank you, Cheryl. They're saying hello to Lisa. Mary, you've got a home here too. Aw, thank you, Suze. That's so sweet. 
Mary too. You can come to Virginia and live with me, Mary. You can show me how to art. Mary too, I'm sure that you can art without my help. I'll bet you that you art your heart out. And I'll bet you do beautiful work. Doesn't she, Janet? I don't know if Janet's still here. She might have gone to bed. It's getting late. 71 degrees in Illinois. Well, that's pretty good. It's coming your way, Deborah. Yeah, I think so, Cheryl. I don't know what will happen. If something happens to my brother, I will probably be able to stay here in Nebraska someplace. I might have to go into a little apartment or something, but uh, it won't be the same. But uh, I'm not too worried. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it because I can't do anything about it. You know, don't worry about things that you can't do anything about because it's just wasting, it's just wasting headspace. <laughs> you know, I, t I tell him, I say, you know, I might go before you do. <laughs> but that's real sweet of you guys to say that. That makes me feel good. See, that's, see, that's what this art community is about. And, uh. Even though that would probably never happen, just the very fact that they, they encourage you that way. That's what the guys are all about. That's not me. That's you guys. Mary, you will live a long time, and so will your brother. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. It's nice to know. I appreciate your saying that. Deborah says, yes, we can. Where's my little cat? How are you? Uh, Janet. Jan says, I think so, Beth. Was Beth here? Hi, Beth Schuler. Can we say Claudro collection? Yes, you can. You love the Claudros, Gail? Hi, Beth Schuler. Beth, I finished all the tags um, for you. I'm going to try to get them sent off next week so you get them by the end of August. Next week is what? The middle of August already? If I get them mailed off next week, you should get them by the 31st, hopefully. They don't get lost. <laughs> they might get lost before I get out the front door. <laughs> no, they won't. I work too hard on them. Uh, let's see. Kendra says, I have to go Monday for a COVID-19 test. Oh, Karen, please pray for me. Uh, we will, Kendra. You know, you have our prayers. I have a procedure on Wednesday and have to be tested before they will do the test. Okay, Kendra, you got it. Everybody give Kendra some encouragement and some prayers that that her test will be negative and, and that her procedure on Wednesday will go well. Norma's here. Jan said you made it home safe. Good, Holly. Lisa says, hi, Holly. Susan, oh, this is where Holly came in. Let's see. Holly says she's back, like it or not. <laughs> Beth, sent you a bead video in a message, Cheryl says. Kendra says, I love that orange. Isn't that orange napkin beautiful? Um, I don't know if Pearl has any more of those. I think I got those my first time with Pearl. She was selling napkins, and she had sold a bunch of those orange ones before. And I think she had some others of the same design that were kind of a brownish color. I can't remember. But I think she sold out of those. She, you might follow her. You might ask her, because I don't know where she got them. But she would probably remember if you ask her. Don't tell her I sent you. I'm in trouble with Pearl and Sherry <laughs> I get in trouble. Hi, Sue Hennessy, if you're listening in. I'm scrolling way back in chat. That flower napkin is one of my favorites, Sue says. Aunt Beck said, I'm starting today's puzzle without scotch. Don't tell him. Uh-oh, I'm going to tell Scott. <laughs> Aunt Beck's probably working away on her puzzle. Let's see. Jen says, Gail, I used to watch that too. Made me hungry every time. Girl, Lori says, I think I have that napkin. We're back to the napkins. Oh, Jamie said she had to head out. Thanks so much. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> She's long gone. 
she is long gone. There's Violet. She said Justin Wilson and Graham Kerr, two entertaining chefs. Deborah says, I know the air cooler is in your kitchen. I barely, rarely miss your videos. You put it wherever it makes you comfortable. Um, you know, Deborah, our kitchen gets hot too. In fact, it gets hotter in the kitchen than it does here because I do get, when we turn on that air conditioner in the living room and I use that fan to blow air in here, it gets cooler. All right, I have to show you guys these, and I might start on them. These are two little pop can journal covers. One's a Coke cover that my brother th thought I was going to enter these in the Defy auction, but since I'm not going there anymore, I am going to make them for you guys. And I'll probably have a giveaway, but not until I get them done. I said, why don't you make a squirt one out of all my squirt pop, uh, pop cans? And uh, he makes them. Now, he, he made this one pretty wide. And I told him to put holes in them. And I was talking about this one. And this one is centered pretty good. It's an inch. But I think this one's an inch and a half. And he still put it in the center. So I'm not sure... I could probably get three signatures. I could probably poke a couple more holes in there and put three signatures in that one. And what I'm going to do, now he folds this over really good and glue it. This is not, uh, this is, I can touch this pretty good. He covers that up, but I'm going to cover this with fabric just to be sure. And then at one time last year, Ann Lahr sent me some gaffer tape. Now that's pretty wide. I've got it over here. It's pretty wide. She sent me two, two rows of it. Let me show it to you. Gaffer tape. Black and white combo kit. This came from Ann Lahr, bless her heart. And um, they use gaffer tape a lot in book binding. But I don't know. It doesn't say what it's used for on here. It just says gaffer tape. But this is this is too wide. It would cover up all the pretty. So what I want to do, I think. See what I want to do is I want to secure. I want to secure it enough so that when you bend these back and forth, that they don't eventually. Because if you bend them like this enough, you'll break them apart. And I need to, you know, it's just like, well, like I was saying with that typewriter thing. If you score something and bend it and open it and bend it and open it and bend it and open it, eventually you'll weaken that. But if I put a, a secure piece there and put a secure piece in here. So let's work with the Coke one first. And I'm not going to put, I'm going to put, uh, you know what I have. Let me move all these napkins on the floor behind me. <laughs> uh, because i got to get them out of my way. And I'll put them away after... I'll put them in that box that the coffee came in. And these will go up here. Hold it. I'm getting down to the fabric. I want to put a piece of fabric in there. More napkins. Ah, here it is. Look what I have. Galaxy fabric. That I did that July journal with. And that'll go good with this coat cover. And I'm going to cover this with uh, carpet tape. A double-sided carpet tape. So I will need, we want a good piece though. We want, we want to make sure that we're getting a good galaxy here, a good world. Let's turn it this way. We don't want to send you a half of a planet. I'd like to send you something like that right here on the inside. This will be the inside in here. 
so let's measure this. And I don't know if I'll give these away tonight, to be honest with you, because I don't know if I'll get them done tonight. But we'll work on them. I'll let you know when I give them away. I would not, I will probably, well, I don't know how I'll let you know. I don't, I'd like to give them away to people who come regularly to my streams. Um, you folks. Sometimes people come to streams just to get stuff. They find out there's a giveaway. That's six and a fourth by... Well, it's not three and a fourth. It's more like three and three eighths by... Let's measure this again. Six and a fourth by... Yeah, three and three eighths. So I think I'm going to take it out of here. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. Where's my whiteout pen? Um, it's going to be bigger too because of this ledge here in there. But we want the. Put my gaffer tape up there. Put that up there. Put that up there. All right, so I said about three and three eighths. I think I'll make it four and a half, and then I'll have plenty to work with. I'll have plenty to work with widthwise, and then I can always cut it down. Mark it. Come on, are you marking? Yeah, come on. Mark it there. That'll all be cut off by four and a half. And this comes up. Uh, eight inches. So if I go this way, I said six and a fourth. I think I'll make it seven and a half. Just to give me a lot of room and eight inches this way which is just about there Mary all right so let's draw this I might put some of my galaxy paper in there wouldn't that be fun Tuck it in between the signatures. Now, what did I say here? Root four and a half? Four and a half. So go up four and a half. Now this is way big, but I want it big so that I could, I should have made it larger down there, but oh well, I didn't. Four and a half. It's large enough, I think, that I'll be able to work with it. All right, so that's going to be the inside of the Coke one. Oh, I did not mark when I was going to work on this. Well, it is 2 hours and 43 minutes. Let's subtract 10 minutes. Let's make it 2.33. 2 hours and 33 minutes. Mary, you need the air blowing. Oh, I lost it. Let me mark this first. 2.33. 2.33. Pop, pop cover journals, pop can cover journals. Yeah. 
Now I probably will not even get these done tonight, but we'll work on them. You'll get, you'll see what I'm doing. And I've got out this wonderful fabric scissors that Sue sent me. And we'll cut this piece right here <laughs> because I like that planet. I wonder how our Mars shuttle is speeding off to Mars, our Mars spaceship. Speeding off to Mars, I'm sure it's not there yet. They have a long way to go. Well, it's not they, there's no people in it. There's people in the space station, but not in that Mars rover thing. I wouldn't be surprised if it wouldn't be too long, we would be sending somebody up there. Let's cut it this way. I like that. All right. So I got my wax paper there. I'm doing a couple of things. Okay, so I want to turn this under. See, I cut that a little, I guess if I'm careful, I'll only have a little cut off of there. So let's, I'm going to use double-sided tape, and then we're going to use carpet tape. Let me get you guys out. Oops, I turned off. There. Uh, and live chat so I can see what's going on out there. All right, we're going to put some double sided tape here. This is just to, for the seam. make it nice here to turn it under make a nice edge the width of the tape hopefully there we go. now I could do that on this but I have to be careful here and I'm gonna have to bend this out flat See, I want to cover up these edges. I'm going to do that with this. So I want it right in here. So let's turn it this way. I should use my little dog clip on this. There we go. Now about like like that. So I can probably cut off about a fourth inch. So let's do that approximately. I can do it without taking the clip off. And we can use that for a tag tie. Nothing goes to waste. Make a nice little tag tie. Maybe on my calendar journal. Now I'm going to, I'm going to fold this under, looks like I got it a little crooked there, 
but that's okay, it'll be under anyway. There's my scoreboard. Let's see if I can straighten this out. I love my scoreboard. that white pen. Let's see if I can mark this. It's not straight. Let's see if I can mark it straight with the scoreboard. I don't know if I can or not. It was a thought. Let's move it up a little. I did that by eyesight, not I didn't measure it. I should have measured it. Should have used a ruler. It's getting cooler in here now. It feels cooler. I'm not sweating as much. leave a little red there just a little I'm going to use carpet tape on this but I'm using the double sided tape to seam it on the inside so right in there you know what I need let's spritz it with water finger press it here if I can. Of course, I'll probably have to dry it now because I'm going to put tape on it. <laughs> That's okay. Because if I give it away, I want it to be halfway decent. that. Where is that going to fall? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's going to be on the inside. But we want it to... We're going to make this one really wide and this one really narrow. So as much of that will show as possible. And he's only got one, one punch hole in there. So there will only be one uh, signature, but it'll be a fat signature. So we can go ahead and do this one really narrow this way. You know, I should zoom in a little so you guys can see this a little better. I keep forgetting. Sorry, let me zoom in. 
Here we go. Zoot. We're getting a ride in the galaxy. All right. So, when I put this this way, I want it narrow. But also, I want to, I guess the corners, I can be pretty. We'll see what happens there. I might have to pull them out again. Put that there to there. Now don't worry about this because I'm going to have carpet tape on the back of this. This is just to kind of hold it down while I get the... Did I, I didn't put tape on this, did I? Hold it. Hold the phone. We didn't do this side. when I want a scrappy it's not here. I dried it off, is what I did. Put this on there. But don't worry about this, because this is just kind of like a temporary bond to hold it until I get that double-sided tape on it. The carpet tape. What did it do? It came off. Well, all right, we'll just put it right there for a minute until I get this done. I didn't have it down. Did I get it? No, I pulled the tape. I didn't get it now. Yeah, Penelope, where are you? All right. She says, I'm right here. I need a pen. She says, I got plenty, just take one. I got the biggest kick out of that little boy. I'm going to do a journal page. I was out there watering my flowers, and that little boy, the little neighbor boy, came up, and he said, he, he walked by me once, and he saw I was watering my flowers, and then he doubled back, and I knew he wanted to talk to me, and he came up, and he said, my dog ate your flowers. <laughs> My dear dog ate my flowers. Yeah, my dog, I tried to stop him, but my dog ate your flowers. <laughs> oh, well, tell him he's welcome to come over and have a snack anytime he gets hungry. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. He's 
the nicest one of those little boys. We've got another little neighbor boy who's a little ornery thing. I worry about him. He grows up, he might be a, a little holy terror. All right, let's see if I can get this straight now again. I want it to be halfway decent. Ah, and it's sticking to my finger, of course. Well, I guess I'll just take it off. It's getting in my way. And this is, needs to be folded under. And I'll just fold it like this. If it's not straight, it's not straight. I'm trying my best. Something like that. Let's see how that looks now. <laughs> oh, it's not sticking, Mary. You didn't press hard enough. All right, and all right. Let's go back and press her down. All right. Just temporary until I get it. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now we can go back and do this side here. I'm going to take this little piece of paper off again and press that down. My dog ate your flowers. Don't eat the daisies. I don't have any daisies. I've got zinnias. I told him if his dog needed a snack, he could come on over. My brother puts... Um, Cucumber and zucchini, and we have enough tomatoes. He's put, been putting some tomatoes out there. And they they grab them. They're gone by the end of the day. And I told my brother he's going to have to grow more. Except I want the sweet corn. And I think because I wet that fabric, that tape isn't holding it too good. But I'm going to put carpet tape on there anyway, so... Hopefully it can be, hold it until I get it down. All right, now I need it this way. And I'm gonna have to trim some off. Maybe about a, a half inch. Yeah. Let's measure a half inch this time. Let's measure a half an inch. A half an inch there. And a half an inch there. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it off. make sure that I'm not cutting off too much here. No, I got plenty. Oops, I put that water bottle on my scissors tie. So if I give these away, I might give one away in my Friday night stream. Not tonight, because I've, I'll i never get it done, I don't think. We'll see how far I get. I'd like to give you guys enough notice, because some people are here and then they have to leave. So probably not tonight. And one in my morning stream. So maybe I'll just work on one tonight. And in my morning stream, maybe on Tuesday morning, work on the other one. Rather than try to do both of them tonight. That sure isn't straight, is it? That could 
be cut a little. I don't know. I tried to measure it straight. Wait, I got plenty. I'm going to see if I can't trim it over here. Make it a little straighter. That's a little better. like I said, this is really just a temporary hold until I get the carpet tape on it. Just to fold those seams in. This would be like a similar to our sewing people would call heat and bond. Only I'm using double sided tape. <laughs> now, where's that needle? Did I give it back, Penelope? I don't think I did. I probably dropped it on the floor. I'll probably step on it and give myself tetanus or something. Give that one back to her. And let's see now. I'm going to go with this again. Let's try it this way. So if I fold it there, yeah, just about in there. The thing about this, the tape is temporary enough if I don't get this like I need it I can always pull it up all right now let's see how this fits in there yeah I'm liking that pretty good pretty good and see that will cover up all these edges here and it will help these edges but I think I'm gonna have to put something Oh, well, there's the needle. <laughs> well, at least I didn't step on it. I'm going to have to put something here and here. Just so that it won't crack. And I'm thinking that gaffer tape, but I'll have to... I'll have to experiment with that. Alright. So let's get out some... carpet tape and of course I'm going to double it let's see I don't want to use my good scissors I'm going to use these old ones for that let's put my pen over here out of the way and let's get rid of these and my ruler away and I'm going to put this squirt one away till next one of my morning streams will work on the squirt one. All right. We can throw these away. Okay. Now, let's measure. Oops. This says it is six and a fourth. No, that's what we're going to make it. Six and a fourth. And I do it this way. See, this is where I'd like to have... right uh, well let's do it this way let's see if it sticks to that ruler see if I can pull it off of the ruler six and one fourth is right there and let's 
put it on the ruler. I think I can pull it off of that ruler. Snip it there. Now, I like the other scissors for buffering us down, burnishing it down. Now, I'm going to take this piece up like this. Hold on to it. Don't move. Put that up there. We're going to take this and we're going to measure it off of here and get another piece. Approximate. cut it a little bit smaller because I had to trim that other one. There we go. Pull it off of my ruler. Now we want this one, which now has double release paper on it, to go on top of this. back. Give me my fingers back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now what I can do, since I've got half of this release paper and half sticky, I can pull up on half of this and do Aunt Dex's trick. What she does when she makes her cards. Let's pull up on part of it this way and fold it back. And now we want to put it on here. Now we have to be careful to get it the way we want it. This is Coca Cola. So this will be the front and that'll be the back. So we're going to put this one right here. Just like. So, oh, we can move it up a little. Will it come up a little? Will it go up a little? Uh, I don't know. I might be. Well, you get one chance with this stuff. You get one chance. And it might be just a little over the. Now, I don't know, though. If I straighten this out flat, you get one chance. It's just a teeny bit over. Do I want to cut it? Or fold it? I think I'll fold it. 
I think I'll fold it. Let's pull it this way. Pull it that way. And let's see if I can't just pull this a teensy weensy bit. Yeah. And it'll stick. Believe me, it will stick. I just don't want it to go over the edge and it's just a teeny bit Just a teensy bit there, and that's better than cutting it off. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with it. Now let's get this out. Let's pull this out. Um, come on. I want it all. Now I'll pull on the other side of it here. got a little ridge there, but I'd rather have a little ridge there than have it peek over the corner. I can honestly come in and do something with that. I can do something with that, I think. Let's buffer it down, burnish it down. It won't be perfect. It's a handmade journal. In fact, he's got a little ridge here. I could put a piece here and make side pieces. I might do that later. Now see, when I'm talking about it needing to do something here, it's already starting in here. It's already starting there because I've been back and forth so many times. So I'm going to have to secure these. <sighs> and I hate to... I generally... I hate to put wide... Let's use this. I hate to use that wide... Let's try. We we'll want the black. I'm going to use the black gaffer tape. And we'll see if I can do this. I don't know if I can. If I can't, I'll pull it up. And I'm not going to chat until I get at a good stopping point. Uh, uh, when I'm getting ready to chat, I'll say I'm coming out. <laughs> I like to chat between my segments here, my projects. So if you say something to me, if you come in while I'm working on this, you say hello and I haven't said hello back. It's because I'm busy working on this. I put that behind me. Now I think what I want to do. I think what I want to do is take this. This is gaffer tape. Gaffer tape is used in book binding and it's a cloth. It's a cloth tape. And it's what they use on the edges and the spines of books. It's not plastic, it's cloth. But it's it's like duct tape, only it's cloth. I'm gonna get this seal off of it. I wanna save that. And this is, what I say? Well, 
I said three and three eighths, but I think this is three and a fourth. I think he means that to be three and a fourth. I think three and a fourth will be fine. Get it started here. And I'm going to put this release paper. It's sticky stuff too. Let's see if I can put my ruler there. Now, I want to cut this in half, and I think I'll just fold it in half this way. Maybe that'll give me a good half mark. And let's score it down. It'll be good enough, hopefully. cut here. It may not be perfect. Hopefully these scissors will cut it. These are my older scissors. Be nice if I could put this in the trimmer and cut it in the trimmer. And I've got release paper on this side that I used when I put that other stuff down. Like this. Alright. Now what I want to do... I hate to do this, but I know I have to, to to prevent this cracking here. So I'm going to put it, I think I'll probably have to fold it in like that. And I'll probably have to put some on the corners because I don't want, if I give it away, I don't want any dangerous, I don't want any dangerous sharp edges. So I'm trying to take care of all that. I think I'll make a... And I hate to cover that up, but my my three dots are going to be in there anyway. So my, spy, my journal pages are going to go in there. Which will probably cover up most of that beautiful planet. But maybe I can collage another planet in there. Or put a pocket or something in there. I just don't want it to... I don't want any sharp edges, and I don't want it to... And that could have been just a teeny bit longer. But we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to do it as it is. It's a pop kim cover, so I'd rather have it be safe than everything showing. Let's see if I can do it halfway decent here. Let's do it on this side first.
hope that's going to be strong enough to hold. We'll see. Not going to get a whole lot of cola there. But then again, I'd like to get La. You'll get La. <laughs> this will be your La journal with 40 calories. <laughs> You'll have probably coal, coal La. Coal here, because that'll cover up this. You'll get coal La. 40 calories. <laughs> Hey, it's just a homemade journal. I'm not perfect. All right, let's trim this off. Right about. There. Come on. Don't give me any grief. Took that release paper off. It cuts better when you have that paper on it. But you need a release. You need a, a release paper. Let's save that for my calendar. <laughs> Alrighty. Now let's fold it around this way. I hate covering up my planet, but that's the way it's got to be. You'll get, yeah, you'll get cola. <laughs> yeah, see, it's it needs the tape in there. Yeah, for tape. All right, let's do the other one. Sorry, I have to do that to you. I could. Now, well, now. I could put something down in there. We'll just leave it. <sighs> Let's do this side. And we want it about the same length. Right about. Fold it around. Yeah, it sticks pretty good. I'm going to try to get it straight or as straight as I can. I've got a little. Now I need to cover these corners. I don't want them to be dangerous. I don't know that folded under is. It is what it is what it is. So let's make me a pattern. She said, let's make a pattern. Is that too small? Yes, it is. I 
like that. I think it has to be a square. It's awfully big, but I like it that way. It's all the way down there. It is. No, it isn't. What is Mary doing? <laughs> I'm, this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I think this has to be a square. But I'm figuring out how big of a square I want. That's an awful big corner, but I kind of like it that way, and that'll give it a lot of protection, but it's covering up most of my, we could make it smaller. Just ignore me while I play. I know there's a better way to do this, but I forgot. And I'm not looking at you guys. is Mary doing? She's playing like she always does. Okay, I know I want it like that. And I know I want it folded that way and that way. And so I need to cut this excess out here. I think I'm going to have to secure this a little better. That's supposed to be sticking more. I don't know if I'm going to give this away or not. We'll see. Mary's playing with it right now. Just let Mary play. Just let Mary play. I marked it there and there. And I want it to come that way and that way.
Now I want to clean this up here. So it looks something like that. Yes, only maybe not so. Let's cut it this way. Now I'm, be now I'm remembering it's a longer strip. You put it in here, you fold it that way, and that way, but it doesn't quite meet when you do that. So you, I want it to meet. And let's make a line here. Ah, I really stuck to my gaffer tape. <laughs> this is just a pattern, I'm just playing with it. It's just a pattern, no sweat. If it doesn't work, I'll keep it for myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so what I want to do now is take another piece of paper and see if I can't do, do it a little neater and see if it'll work. I actually forgot how this was done. You did? Uh -huh. This way. See if that makes any more sense to me. It might not. I don't know what corner I was using. This one, hold it that way. This one, hold it that So it's a little bit longer. But I can cut that off. Maybe it's not centered right. Two and a fourth. Half of two and a fourth is one and an eighth. One and one eighth. Right there. I'm six feet away from my desk again. This is not a tutorial. This is Mary playing. I just have you guys know that. If you came here to learn from a tutorial, you're in the wrong stream. <laughs> uh, I keep saying that. If you came here for a tutorial, you're in the wrong stream. Now that's a little big. But I kind of like it big. But would I like four of them big? I think I will. Because I know it's being nice and protected. So let's cut some of these out of gaffer tape. This, this way. Oh, we'll make it a little shorter. What would happen if I cut this a little shorter? The size of my gaffer tape. Let's try it with this. Let's cut this one a little shorter. I should have done this in the first place. All right. 
Now we need to find the center. I think it's probably about two. Let's see how this works. Fold it here. Fold it that way and fold it that way. Oh, no, it's too short. It's too short if I cut it shorter, the size of my gaffer tape. This one barely fits. So, I'm going to cut it. One and a... See? Boy, fooey. I'm still playing. It's too short, but if I bring it up a little higher and make it not so long, let's do it this way. Mary's playing yet. I can make it shorter. I'll make it shorter this way. And this way. Like that. an inch. I think I'll try that. We can try it with a piece and if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Thank you, Ann Larv. I don't know if she's out there. I haven't been watching you guys <laughs> in my world here. I want some release paper. And I think I want an inch here. I think this is about an inch. that way. We'll make it work. We will make it work. In that way. I think that's going to be fine. It's got a little, it's a little off in here. Let's see, that's maybe because I don't have it exactly at an inch. Hard to, it's hard to see. It's sticky. Well, I'm almost an inch. Mary's muttering. Yep, Mary's muttering. It's gonna work. I think she's got it by golly. I think she's got it. It's like that. 
you're gonna have the la on the front and the co coca co co la you got co and the beginning of an l co la <laughs> Oh dear. All right. Just ignore me. Let's see if I can put this on. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. Let's see if I can do it. I had it. Up there. Right in there. Yeah, on that line. Bring that one over. That one might be might be a little crooked. they meet. Let's see how they meet. Ah! <laughs> I'm happy with it. I'm not happy so much with this, but I'd rather be safe than pretty. And I think it's safe to put all this on there. And this will have a tassel down here, so this part will be covered up. And I might just put some tape in here just to make sure these are secure. Because this will be all um, paper in there. I'm going to put some on my galaxy paper. Okay, I have this little piece. I need three more of these. <laughs> Is anybody, have I lost y'all? Is it Mary, what did you do tonight? I watched Mary paint a wax paper box and wash your hands and <laughs> full with tape. Oh, well that was a nice Friday evening fun. I should stop. I'll stop after I get these corners done and come out. I need it up a little. Well, let's do it this way, Mary. Put your clip there. <laughs> I don't want to put the ruler there because I want it. I don't know. Put the scissors there. Where's my piece? Hold on to that for me. Please. You can just keep holding on to it. Let's see what I did here. Let's see, I think I can take this off. I think I'm easier with taking it off. I'm going to try this one. See, these edges here are fine. It's, it's in here and on the corners that I want it to be safe. And I'm going to try to just... I need to kind of mark the center. Hint. 
figure out the best way to do this so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get equal distance on both sides here. And I suppose marking it would be the easiest thing to do, but, well, you know. Enough. I have to get some journal charms on there, it'll be fine. <laughs> get my signatures in there. I'll love it in the end. Let's do two more and then I'll come out. I think I know what I'm doing now. She knows what she's doing. I'll throw that away so I don't get mixed up. I know you guys have probably told me 10 easier ways to do this, but <laughs> help, I got a hair on there, and it doesn't look like one of mine because it's not gray. from it's gone now with a little tape it's gone <laughs> sorry gotta have a laugh And that mark isn't going to be right. It's almost right. It's off a little. Happy birthday, Barb Clark and Joyce Boring. I just happened to see that. Thank you, Allie Kay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barbara and Joyce. Happy birthday to you. See, this isn't sticky. And I don't know if it's cloth to cloth or what, but I think I better come in with some yes paste to make sure all of this stuff is glued down good. Because that just pulled right up. That corner one did. I'll come in with some yes paste. But let's finish this. Now I think what I did. Move that up. I put it down this way. I can get it off, with, off of my fingers. <laughs> Where's my release paper? Just leave it like that. Put my finger up here. And probably, oops, you guys all went little on me. Happy birthday, Barbara Clark and Joyce. <laughs> I hope that you, is that, 
Let's see. Yeah, that would be the the seventh happy birthday, ladies. I hope you have many more. It's hard for me to keep up with you all. And so, if you remind me, I'll wish you a happy birthday like Allie Kay did. Alright, I think that's pretty good. I'm putting it just a teeny bit above that corner. Now this has that ridge there where I tucked it under instead of cutting it off. So I'm hoping this one meets. And it does. Yay! But I think I'm going to have to go back and put Yes Paste under these because I'm not sure these are going to hold for the long term. Maybe they just need... Maybe I'll weight them down. They sure do stick otherwise, but we'll see. I'll just keep an eye on them. Tonight, before I before I quit, I'll weight them down. Maybe they just need some pressure on them. Alright, got one more. One more. Oops, that's not it. What did I do with it? Hopefully I didn't throw it away. Checking the waste basket. I don't see it in there. Is that it? <laughs> ah, shaking her head. I hope you guys have a sense of humor when you come into this stream. Because Mary can do some pretty dumb things. I sure hate to cover that planet up, but <sighs> one more, one more here. I hope that's it. I don't think this is it. This is one of them, but we'll go with it and see what happens. It's way long. But that doesn't matter. We just need to find the center. We'll find it on this side. wasn't release paper that was <sighs> what happened to my other piece here it is Jay no well that's similar we should release paper yeah release paper. I think it is. I don't think it is. I don't know what I did with that piece of release paper I had.
All right, you know this is the last one. I'm getting there. I got paint on my scissors. I think this is paper too. I don't think it's release paper, but I think I can get it off. No, yes. Honestly. That's why it's not sticking. I'm not going to use those. Let's make another one. Two inches wide. I don't know what I did with my piece, my pattern piece that I was using. Last one and I, I, I threw it away somewhere. I threw it somewhere when I took it off wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. You have to have release paper, not copy paper. Oh no! Five of you are still here. <laughs> I lost ya! I lost ya! Good night, Lynn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know where I lost you. I was so involved in... I was so involved in what I was doing. Hold it. Let me straighten things out here. Get my camera set up. I am so sorry. Let's see how much time I have. I'm at, I'm at 100%. How much, how much did I, where was, where was I when I lost you? Was I putting corners on? Oh, I'm back now. I'm so sorry. I don't know where I lost you guys. That's YouTube's fault. Didn't that happen to, uh, didn't that happen to, uh, Hi, Tony. Didn't that happen to um, Lori, Jersey Crafter, Laura? It, uh, reconnection issues. I was, I was working on my, I was working on my little corner here. You don't know, where, <laughs> you don't know where you were when you went out. I don't know where I was either, Norma. Does anybody know where I was when I when I lost track of me? <laughs> when when my when I lost connection, I guess we'll find out when the video processes. Oh my mobile, she's back. <laughs> On my mobile, she's back. Uh, Tony says she just waited patiently and then rebooted me. <laughs> Well, thank you for rebooting me. <laughs> I need to be booted every now and then. You were taping something. Well, I'm all done with the taping. I might have been, because I saw the happy birthdays. I saw Ali K tell me that it was happy birthday to, when was that? That was at, uh, mm, oh, Holly said, Mary, it got dark. <laughs> lights at 11:29, so that was almost 10 minutes ago when holly said that mary we lost you at 11:27, so it was almost a good uh buffing buffing barbara said spinning deborah said i thought you were going to post the pick of the blade you're using now uh, i don't know what she means barbara said i just came home from my barbara if you're here happy birthday all right let's see i think i probably lost you around uh, around 11 30. uh 
Barbara says you can't figure out what Mary's making. <laughs> I am making a Coca-Cola journal cover. This is, and let me show you the, for those who didn't, who, I don't know if Barbara's still in here, but my brother made these little pop can journal covers for me. But I want to be, I covered it with the inside with galaxy fabric. And I had a really nice galaxy piece here, but in order for this, this is gaffer tape. And in order to make sure that this is secure, because by the time you bend this open and close, it's going to split there. So I put gaffer tape on the inside and outside, and I want to be sure that the corners are not going to be dangerous. So I put I had to figure out how to, that took me a while to figure out how to do these. I, I knew how to do them at once, but I, my head doesn't hold all that stuff. And then I put tape on both sides of here. And by the time I did that, this was a Coca-Cola one. You, you have to read it from the back. Co-la. <laughs> 40 calories. All right, let's see what you say. Barbara says she's here. Happy birthday, Barbara. So the squirt one, the squirt one might be a little bit better because this is wider. He didn't quite get that in the center, but I really don't care. I'm going to do this one in, in the morning stream for the morning gals. And when he, when he does these, he does them real good here. These are, I'm, you know, I can touch these without fear of cutting myself. But I don't want these corners, even though they're safe. I, you know, I, I'm putting gaffer tape on them just to make sure. I'm thinking about giving this one away in probably next week. Probably next week in my stream because, well, the very fact that we lost half of you tonight. Most of you are coming back. You want to know? Oh. <laughs> I'm not telling. You guys, you've already give, you've given me birthday all year long. You've given me birthday all year long, and I can't give birthday to everybody. You guys have you just just come in here to my stream. That's birthday enough for me, and be the nice people that you are. I opened three happy mails tonight from from uh, Lori and uh, Karen and Santa. And then I had one from from Shannon that I ordered, Shannon Green that I ordered. So I get birthday. Just wish me a happy birthday and and that will be enough. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of happy. I'm going to put galaxy paper in this. Let's go back and read chat now that I'm... But these will be journal covers. There, there eventually be little pop can, and I think these are probably safe enough, because uh, I, you know, I've been handling this all along here, and you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about this. So I'm gonna put this, as, I'll put this here, and I'll put this one aside. Let's look at chat. Oh, let me. Somewhere in there, I'm going to have to document that I lost you guys. Let's see, 4.20.07. Oh. I'll just mark it. Yeah. I'll have to find my way in that one. I've been keeping track of here, so hopefully I can do these chapters a little easier. For Because I spend quite a bit of time after my stream trying to figure this out. Let's see, chat. C-H-A-T. That's good enough. All right, let's actually go and chat. Let's go into here. Mary, don't rob me from blessing you. <laughs> I, you bless me all the time, Norma. That's uh, My bracelets are in there. You blessed me so much all right it is fun working with this gaffer tape um now i have another idea but i'm not going to do it tonight because i'm tired and i don't want to i mean i'm tired of this i'm not tired tired i can still go for a while i might go all night at this rate <laughs> let me put that 
Well, I don't want to put it in there. Let me put it behind my chair. I'll put it away after I'm done. All right. Let's put, let's, let's cut the napkins off of this while I'm chatting. I want to chat, but I want something other than your, my dirty desktop here to show you. All right. Don't look there. <laughs> Cheryl says, I came back, was wondering if you said goodnight. No, I might go for a while uh, tonight, Cheryl, but if you get tired, I don't want you to feel like any of you. Don't stay if you're tired. I'm not kicking you out. I don't mean that, but I don't want you guys to feel like... Because there's always the replay. There's always the replay. You guys need your rest. I rested all day today. I'm well. Here's my other tags. Let's show you Beth's. These are the tags that I did for Beth Schuler's group. I want to send them off. I did a looking back. I did a looking back. Dolls. There's a Barbie doll and a Cupid doll, and they. Um, he's really glued down there. I think. Is this hand? I might put a little more glue on that. I don't like that. His little hands needs a little blue on him. Cupid doll. I don't want to send out a unglued Cupid doll. Put a little blue on him. There we go. Now Coca Cola. So I got all four of my tags done. I definitely need to get these up next week. So I'm going to definitely plan on doing a mailing next week. And then on the back, there's a Coke, Coke, bo a Coke bottle and some barbershop. Look at this. This is why I don't like glue sticks. I have to tell you on these things because I thought I had this glued good. You guys probably go, geez, Mary, she streams and she sends out inferior stuff. <laughs> I'm no better than the rest of you. Probably not as good as some of you out there. All right, I'll get it glued down. I don't want to send out unglued tags. <laughs> so on the back is a Coke bottle and two barbershop, barbershop choir men. Well, that one's glued and that's a scrap. There we go. So there's that one. This is the dragonfly one. It says flittering, flittering on my way, I think it says, flittering on my way, dragonfly. And this was a paper cluster that I made and a, a, a uh, embellishment, a flower trim, trim down at the bottom. And there's nothing on the back except for this was uh, some leftover lacy paper. There's a doily down there. I'll have to document these. And this is the kitty cat one with the kitty cat tag. And it says purr, purr, purr. And I have a little ball of yarn and the yarn's being threaded all around the tag here. Purr, purr, purr. And this is where Allie Kay read that verse from The Big Bang Theory. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur, happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. And I noticed, uh, Somebody sent Dee Dee that sent something with that same verse. She was reading it, not today, but I think it was Monday I was watching. And then there's the bird one. And that's all of them, four of them. And I'm going to make one for me. But So we got those to send out. I'm going to put them over here on my project card. All right, what else? Barbara's saying good night. Good night, Barbara. <laughs> she, it's, it's her birthday. Branson says, I'll do it again and again for you, Mary. Branson. Oh, Norma. Oh, I enjoy you. We all enjoy you. Branson pops in on several of our streams. We all enjoy you. 
All right, this is where I came back in. We wishing Barb a happy birthday. I think this is where you all found me again. <laughs> I hope Mary knows that she's gone. Mary didn't know. Don't give myself a dislike. Where's my chat? Live chat. I almost gave myself a dislike, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you in the path of the hurricane, Cheryl, or just normal storms? Thank you, Carla. Good night, Barbara. Have a good, have a great weekend and happy birthday again. And you too, Joyce. Happy birthday to you. I haven't seen her in here. I think she may have. Oh, there she is. Joyce and and the Barbara both have birthdays today. And you know, I think that Violet's birthday is coming up. She, I don't think she put herself on the list, but I think Violet has an August birthday. And I don't think she's telling us. I could be wrong. But I thought I wrote that down. All right. So let me tear. Let me just, while I'm here, let's just tear. Because these are for my tag journal. This one I did on both sides. I was going to tear, but I think I'll cut. It's got tape on it. Yeah, see, I used... No, I collaged that down. Yeah. I could bring that back up like that. And have a now let's try it. Instead of cutting it off there. This is for my this is for my tag journal. So there's one. It's all dry. And this is the laminate one. This came in the... Let me get it here. This came in the, the kit that I bought from Shannon. Just use these. These scissors, I kind of want to keep them nice. It's cooling off in here. I'm not sweating. I had to turn that air conditioner on. It was just getting terrible hot. I'll have to keep an eye on my stream to make sure I don't go black out. Don't black out again. Looks like some of that came through there, pink. Let's see if I can wash that off. Let's save this. That's pretty. We'll put that with my calendar stuff. Oh, let me get a towel. And we'll save these scrappies for my calendar. Put them over here. I'll have to weight them down. Fortunately, I have enough over here to weight down. Alright, let me put a little hand sanitizer on this. And get this off here. This is a laminate tag. And got this in the kit that I got from Shannon Green off of her Etsy shop.
Wednesday night, oh, we had five inches of rain in two hours. Oh my goodness sakes. Five inches of rain in two hours? Yeah. That's a lot of rain in two hours. There we go. I'm pretty happy with those. And here's the bird tag. Sometimes I wonder if YouTube doesn't do that to us on purpose. Disconnect us. I blame YouTube for everything. I'm sorry, YouTube. Daryl Eve says we have to change the way we think about YouTube, and I'm really struggling. Because <laughs> I blame them for everything. You know, their server might have, um, not on purpose, but their server might have hiccuped or something and disconnected me or some operator might have said let's get to Mary's just chattering away let's disconnect her for a while <laughs> I've been I've been in the working world too long Oh, I like that. So there's the third one. Oh, let me get the other two. Here's the pretty flower one. Did I bring that over or did it just fall over that way? I think it just folded over that way, didn't it? I think it did. Now we can repaint that. I have to know what happened there. And you can just fold it over that way. Branson says, Mary, at our house, we always blame the cats. <laughs> Poor kitty cats. I blame the cats. <laughs> You're probably not far from wrong, though, are you? Some of that stuff, don't they kind of get in mischief? Oh, I don't know if your cats do, but... My brother had cats when he... When, my younger brother... I was closer to my younger brother when, when I was in college, but we kind of parted ways the last several years. But he used to own a black cat and a white cat. And I forget what the, what the white cat's name was, but that black cat was a beautiful cat. I liked the black cat. I liked them both, but the black cat was, I liked it, but they loved their Christmas tree. They loved their Christmas tree too much. What happened to that other tag? Did it fall? I've got another tag here. Let me see. What did I do with it? It must have fallen. Here it is, on the floor behind my chair with the rest of everything else. <laughs> the Paris travel tag. I'm thinking of of uh, putting some history images on these tags, some fussy cuts, but we'll get them built up first and on my napkin pages that I'm doing. My, Well, these are napkin tags, but 
I'm doing some napkin. I'll have to get that book out and show you. I'll do that as soon as I get this done here. This is with Lisa and Tanya. They're working on a tag journal now on Tuesday and Thursdays. And I think next week we'll probably be back on Lisa's channel at 2 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if I'm wrong there, it'll be on Tanya's channel. <laughs> they switch back and forth. Okay. So this will go, this part will go on my calendar. I save all my little scraps for the calendar pages. All right. So let me get out that cover, that book cover. It's here. I had it here earlier today. Oh, what did I do with it? Grr, growl, grr, grr. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Mary, don't panic. I don't have the pages that go in it though, but I'm working on some pages to go in here. And this was the name of the book, The Big Town Roundup. And I'm not sure. Yeah, you can kind of see, I put that same Paris napkin on here and on here. I might put some more napkins on here because they have kind of faded into the back. I like the Alpha t Eiffel Tower, but this part is kind of faded away. I was thinking about putting, I've got a peacock in there. You can kind of see the peacock, but I need some stuff in there, but I'm not going to do that tonight. But... See, I want to combine my tag book with about, I think I have eight pages, calendar pages, that'll fit in there. That we were doing for the napkin book. Let me turn it this way. Let's see if I can find them. Not them. My Crayola box. My waste basket. Magazines. No, I'm not going to find them. That's okay. I got some calendar pages that will go in there, but I'm going to put these in here. And this one might... Well, no, I think it'll fit. I don't want to throw that tape away. Hold it. i got to get this tape out of my wastebasket or I'll throw it away. My double-sided tape. All right. So I think all of these will fit in here fine once I get going. But I'm going to have to decide how I'm going to do it. Now, if I bind pages in here, maybe I'll bind them closer to the front and use the tag, the tags at the back. I'm not sure exactly how I'll do it, but I'm gonna come, instead of putting two signatures in here, see, this is wide enough to hold two signatures. And instead of putting two signatures in, just put one signature and then put a tag book in here but I'm still figuring out how I'm going to do that. So we'll just put that up like that. Now, the other morning, I was making foamies. I made three foamies. I made a, a dancing star, a swirl, and then I just did the tread, this tread on here. And I just cut a rectangle for the tread. So I think what I want to do is, let me see, I want to get those, I thought I saved those foam squares. Oh, let's see, hold the phone, hold the phone, I threw some in here, like that. 
that's the big one. And let me find the, oh, there they are. And these little pieces, I'm gonna make me a mosaic. I'm gonna make me a mosaic foamy stamp here. So I need, I had a piece of cardboard out. Let me get it. Oh, I could even use this box. This box that the coffee team had. This is good. I'll carry the bottom. It's nice and sturdy, this Amazon box. We'll use this side. So let's do some cutting here. Let me look at the time. Now, the time is 4.42. So we'll make it 4.44 by the time I get it written down here. 4.44. Forty-four mosaic font, mosaic, mosaic, <laughs> mosaic, mosaic. I can't spell mosaic. I know what I mean. Mosaic for me. Save. See, I'm keeping track or trying to keep relative track of when I start a new project because then when I do those chapters for my replay, I'm hoping that will I spend I spend a couple hours after my stream just trying to find out reviewing my stream and to where I begin a decent project, uh, beginning of another project. And it takes a while, and the video's usually still processing. Let me cut this open. And I've got to cut it off camera here because I got the address. So just let me give this a cut. We might use the rest of that box for another foamy, but we're gonna we're gonna glue these down and make a mosaic. These scrappy ones, and I know I can't use. I think I can use PVA glue. I know I can't use uh, on this foam. I know I can't use E6000. It'll melt the foam. Let's get this one off those off to the side. I had some more, but I think I threw them away and I'm not going to go dig them out. So, we're just going to, I'm going to glue them down, the tread sides down, like this, because I want the flat side to stamp, otherwise I'll get tread and it won't make any sense. I could try to rip that up, but I don't think I'll fool with that. Rip that up, it would be kind of hard. Like that. Let's put this one in here. It doesn't have to, it can have gaps. In fact, it would probably be better if it did have gaps. Like that. So I can cut about an inch inch and a half off of this. Let's do that. Let's guesstimate this mark, maybe. Throw that away. We got this one to do, too. So I put this one here like that. I put that one in there and this one in, how did I have it? Like that, like that, and this one came this way. 
Actually, this one would look better there. We need a piece in there. And I'm intentionally leaving space in between them. I think, well, maybe this one might need to be a little shorter. Like that. Like that. Now I need one to fit in here. doesn't quite fit, but if I cut it curved, I cut it curved like that, Let's see if I can remember how I did that, like that, and cut it there. Did I lose you guys? Hi, Maria. Oh, is Arlene? Arlene, did you make it back in here? In the comments. Then Janet or Violet will. Arlene, did you come back in? Oh, thank you, Arlene. This time I don't put the blame on YouTube. Google and Mail went goofy at the same time as we lost Mary. Oh, really? Google and Gmail went goofy at the same time? So they were having some internet issues out there. All right. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for saying that, Arlene. All right. And then I think I can just kind of put this curvy one this way and end it off maybe. Let's just cut right here. Put it right in here like that. That one's going to kind of be curvy. I don't know if I can. I guess I can. So let's start gluing it down and I'm just going to, I think I'm going to try Aileen's tacky glue. And rather than make you wait while I huff and puff, let's use the new bottle. I might have to get it started here. You will never use these needles for sewing because they're all gluey. And I give them back to Penelope with glue on her. Glue on her. <laughs> she wipes it off for me. All right, we're going to start with this one. And I'm hoping this, see this is not going down, this is going down on the plastic, not on the foam. So I might be able to use E6000, but now yeah, come on, it's gonna come out right. <laughs> My little, come on, yeah. Let's see what's going on with this glue. I need one of those leaf ones. That one he says, don't put that back in me like that. <laughs> I don't know if I got that cleaned out enough. These are not... Uh, even because they have those treads on them. I'm not sure how they're going to glue down. 
I'm hoping to fill it in with enough glue that it won't matter. I'll let that dry off a little. Ew! Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can get glue out of this now. Maybe if I get the plug out, it would work better, huh? Why do I always have trouble with this? Is a brand new bottle. Right here at the top, it's plugging itself up. Get off of my fingers. And I've tried putting pins in there, and they get stuck in there. In my glossy accent one. Yeah, let's plug back. It's not coming out. That's really glued down in there, too. <laughs> just in case you know, ew! It's just hard glue. It's just paste. <laughs> it's just tacky glue, that's all. It's not snot. <laughs> Joyce, that's, I'm sad. I'm sorry. Your sister. I'm so sorry, Joyce. This is the new bottle. It should be, I can feel the air, but I guess the glue has to work itself. This is the new bottle, right? Yeah. I want to fill this in with tacky glue and it'll take a while for it all to dry. And I'm trying to fill in the spaces between those treads is what I'm trying to do there. Let's see how this works. It might all melt by tomorrow morning. <laughs> but I don't think so. It's not touching the foam, it's touching the plastic treads coating here. This one right in here. We can't, uh, oh, I guess I could try to stamp it tonight. I'll let it set for a while. I'll let it set for a while and cut out another foamy, and then we'll come back and test it. See if I can stamp it out. Let's see. Do I do that one next? I think I do. Let's do this one. Did 
don't throw away your scraps. They make good mosaics. I'll put that one in there. Actually, I could get... I could put one in there. Right in there. I think I'll try it. We will see if it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I tried. I think I want it to go this way, though. Like that. And then this one will go here. And that one there. And... Oops, we want this one in here, and that one maybe this way. No, it's got to go this way. All This one here and that one there and this one right in there. And I might have some more little ones to put in here by the time I'm done tonight. I might have some more to add to it. I'm putting a lot of tacky glue on here because I want them to stick good. Is that right? No. I think I have it this way. Like that. And I'm going to put this one in here. Something like that. I think when I reconnected, I it zoomed out for me. I might need to zoom in a little when I get to doing this. Stamping them. I don't know. Like that. And let's put this one like that. Set this aside and let it dry for a while. I've got a couple little pieces here. I don't know if I'll use them. So I'm not going to set this upright. Let's take this wax paper and wipe this off. And put the cap back on it. And we'll let it sit over here like this. So hopefully it will not all settle to the bottom because I think I'm going to use it again. So I want my foam, and let's look at chat. Good night, Lori. Good night, Cheryl. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Oh, I'm sorry, Joyce. I'll bet you do miss her. Does late sister mean that she, oh yeah. I'm so sorry. That's got to be hard. All right. 
So we want to do another foamy, and I have no idea what kind of a design to do. I've done a squirrel, a straw, a straw, a star, a swirl, a star, and a tread. Now, if I do bricks, I've got to carve and or cut out. And what I could do, how about doing an oval? Let's see, if I do an oval, that's, how about a leaf? Let's do a leaf. A leaf will work. So I'm making these fairly big. Let's do a maybe an oak leaf or a something like that leaf. <laughs> that looks like an oak leaf, doesn't it? Something like that. Something like this. And of course I won't cut in there. Or maybe I will cut a a stem out, round it here at the bottom, maybe make it a round stem like that, like that. You'd think I'd know what an oak leaf looks like. It's one of those leaves out there on the tree. Alright, so we're going to do a leaf. Uh, what else can I do? simple shapes. A flower. Like this. Of course. Now these are just big, big stamps that I can use when I'm doing uh, dirty dozens and jelly printing and that type of thing. Foamies. So it'll look just like that. Um, I'm so sorry. She says, my little brother died when he was 25. That was 24 years ago, and I still miss him. Arlene, was that the one that you sent with, with uh, you and him together that you sent me a picture of? Arlene was showing me a picture. My brother used to work for the roller skating rink. Of, uh, was that your roller? It was. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I've lost my older sister and both my parents. Both my brothers are still uh, still living, still kicking. <laughs> do I dare try a scissors? I don't know. I could do a closed scissors but I'd have trouble with the hole in the handle. But if I cut that with that knife, I might be able to do a scissors. Let's try a closed one. Like this. Like that. And a handle here. I'll have trouble cutting this out, I think. However, well, we'll see. And let's make a make a, a line like that and then let's just bring the blade down like that. And we could actually make it open a little at the like that. Alright, let's try that. It's just foam. It's just a floor mat. If it doesn't work, it's not a disaster. <laughs> Your oldest died at 34. Oh, Joyce, you guys have really been through it, haven't you? I could do a heart, but hearts are so common. Uh, 
I want to do basic shapes. I don't want to have to do a lot of fussy carving. I could do circles, but we got circles from lids and stuff. Uh, well, I could do something like this might be fun. Let's do let's do a shape like this. Like this, like this. A stop sign shape. What is that? Six sided? Eight sided. But let's do uh I think I can probably cut that out. And that might be fun to and I could also I could use both of them. And I could do a head, but I could do like Aunt Beck made her little man, but I don't want to copy Aunt Beck. <sighs> I'm thinking. I like my scissors. I hope they work. I like all of them. I'm reading chat. I'm looking over here reading chat. Hugs and prayers to all of you. I'm sitting here thinking, you guys have just gone through it. You guys have really gone through some rough times. I read some of the things you post and my heart just goes out to you. Oh my goodness. Deborah says she was born an orphan. I got a tape on my hand here. I had a sister, but now my parents are gone and I'm all alone. I'm so sorry, Deborah. Hugs, hugs. A spool, that's a good idea. Thank you, Carla. So shall I do an upright? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I could do it upright, and if I want it, in the, I can angle it however I want it. That's a good idea. Um, a spool like this. Like this. And... And I suppose I could probably bring it in a little like that to make, make it look... And I could probably do the little ridges like that. I don't know if I can get that detail with this other side. We'll see. And then we need a hole up in here. So let's bring that out a little more. Now, I could bring this, make this there like that. Thank you, Carla. We did a spool. Now... Um, it will be dark. I mean, like all of this will be shaded in it, when I print it, except for that hole at the top. And I'm going to try to leave it a space there. And I want to put some curves there and some curves here. But this will all be this will all be shaded in when I print it. And I'm going to try to leave a a gap in there to make it look like a like it's a spool. Maybe bring that out a little bit more like that. Something like that. Maybe not quite that much. I'll cut it off. Maybe bring this out a little bit more. Like that. Well, we could do we could do the curls, but like this, just do some, but I have those, I don't have them out. I got the edges that I cut off of here to kind of take care of that stuff. But we could do a dress form, couldn't we? Let's do a dress form here. Like this, bring her down like that. Like that, like that. <laughs> She's got a little waist. She's got a smaller waist than me. Like that. Now, I could make, bring her down this way more, but I can't do all that detailing. 
So I think I'll just bring her down to there and quit. Maybe center her neck a little bit better here. All right, we've got a dress form of sorts. Looks like a bottle. <laughs> she looks like a bottle. Uh, gosh, I'm sitting here brain dead. I could do a, a screw. <laughs> like that and hopefully let's see bring it in like that and like that and then just do some I don't know hopefully I can cut these curves this is a screw <laughs> I guess it needs a it needs a an end here like this that. Uh, key. Keys, like, keys are pretty common, though. A brain. A brain? Oh, how am I going to do a brain? Left side. Like that. <laughs> a brain looks too much like a, a bottom to me. <laughs> Brains have four lobes, don't they though? Now it looks like now it looks like a top. <laughs> oh I can't do a brain. I don't know how to draw a brain. Let me look and see what brains look like. I gotta I gotta look up a brain. <laughs> a brain I'm going to Google. What were we looking at? We were looking at those cards out there, those Japanese cards. Let's see, brain images. Let's type in brain. B-R-A-I-N. I got train. Let's start and go back. B-R-A-I-N. Go. And I want to look at images. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's go to images. Boy, I really had it wrong. <laughs> I was thinking more of the... I was thinking more of this. More like, well, probably more like that. Let's do a side brain here. Let's look at some images here. More like that or that. I don't think I could get all the crevices in there. I don't know if I could do a brain without getting all those little swirly swirls. I'm looking for something good to look at. I could do a skeleton. I'm not much one for, I'd rather do a brain than a skeleton. I'm not much one for the skeleton stuff. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, the light bulb. Let's do a light bulb. <laughs> Let's do that while I'm here. We'll turn. We'll convert this into a light bulb. Like that. Now I might have to figure out how I'm going to do the this in here. I, I'll have to figure that out. But we'll do this part. I might bring that up a little. And we'll put a there. Got a pretty big light bulb there. A brain. I'm looking for something that inspires me. Then that doesn't this just amaze you looking at this? Looking at this. Now as you look at these, think of all your thoughts and your feelings and your physical movements and your words. That's where all that happens. Get excited about the brain. Doesn't it just amaze you? It just totally amazes me that this mass of goo and skin and nerves does all of our... And then multiply that times the billions of people that are alive today. Then think about all the people that have been alive 
since history and every one of them had a brain and every one of them had something going on inside of that brain doesn't it just blow your brain <laughs> doesn't it just blow your mind that just all that skin and muscle and tissue and and all of that can and and think of everything that that mankind has made and all the different cultures and and traditions and and uh, you know it's just it it blows my mind when I look at this all right I'm off my brain soapbox I'm still looking for a good one to draw <laughs> this one looks a little tired that's an inflamed brain uh, I guess the best ones are kind of up at the top because these just look, are beginning to look all the same to me let's go way up at the top again oops I guess I'm there actually something like this one or this one so let's see oh it has this one down here let's go to that one a brain illustration the National Brain Tumor Society wait a minute all right let's do it down here we don't want to do it too large though <laughs> so come this way and I guess this is the frontal lobe that I'm doing now something like that and if my brain doesn't look like a brain I'm very very sorry and that's that's the way it goes and it comes down this way and over this way maybe oh my brain's got curly hair <laughs> no, kind of now I'm gonna have to hook these two maybe here because it's got the print and maybe I'll leave some room cut out this section here just for the because it's a foamy it's got a print as a stamp so then and then the same in here we'll cut this part out and let this fall down like like that and then it comes down and oh there's five parts there's the frontal lobe the parental lobe the opposite lobe whatever that is is over here and this is the temporal lobe and then the cerebellum stick way down in there wait let's oh this one's going to go off the edge no, that's the way it goes and then we'll put this one down in here we might have a little trouble with that one so no, let's bring this one out a little bit more maybe there's my brain. <laughs> now, I don't know if I can carve little, let's make some little lines in here. I don't know if I can cut these out because this is foam. Foam is not carvable, but I may be able to cut some lines in there. I don't know if I can or not. We'll see. Let's see. Let's cut a line this way and they could kind of go up that way and they could and maybe a, a line in there like that and then this one kind of comes like that and we'll just make some squigglies I don't know if I can cut those squiggle lines in there we'll see it'll be a challenge it will be a challenge, Maria. Bless your heart. <laughs> You'd come up with the brain. You'd come up with the idea of the brain. Now this one is just lines like this. Like that. Maybe we'll make it a little. There. There's the brain. Yeah. And that, this will be cut in here. That, that will come in and that will go in. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. 
I need to put something in there. Ah, oh, thank you. It looks like a brain. <laughs> Joyce said, Deb, I was the youngest of four. My parents were always working. A jellyfish. A jellyfish? Who said a jellyfish? Ellen. Hi, Ellen. Welcome, welcome. Let's go look at the jellyfish. Let's go, let's go look for a jellyfish. We looked at the brain. A jellyfish. Jellyfish. I forget what jelly. I know that they're squiggly and you're not supposed to touch them. That's about all I know. Oh, I did the secure one. Let's get out of that. Jellyfish. J E L L Y F I S H. A jellyfish. Oh, yeah. We could do a jellyfish, I think. Let's do the images. Now, which one are we going to do? Well, we can't do a real... We'd have to do one with the... Mm, some, something like that one. Let's see. Something with the tail. Um, maybe something like that. Let's see if I can put a jellyfish in here. So it, it's going to be a little jellyfish. It's going to come out this way. It looks like... <laughs> forgive me. It looks like a sperm. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> like I know what those look like. <laughs> like that. And it comes that way. That's probably what they'll say. Mary, what is that? And they'll say it's, it's, it's an atomic explosion. <laughs> like that and then it's got a long trail down but a squiggly trail I hope you guys aren't too offended by what I say out there but that's what it reminds me of alright now because I'm not going to be able to get all these squiggles in I don't think I'm going to put the squiggles down here at the bottom like that and Let's bring that up a little, like that. That's my jellyfish. Alright. It's not too bad, but remember, this will be all one, one piece. I hope I didn't lose you all there. No worries, Mary. Hi, Rhonda! Thank you. <laughs> a vintage lady's boot. Oh, let's do that. A vintage lady's boot. It does look like a jellyfish, though. I'm pretty happy with my jellyfish. I have to tell you, Ellen. I like the brain, too. Okay, let's go look at the... The... Uh, whoops, what am I doing here? Let's get out of this. And let's go look at the lady's boot. Oh, I keep going into that one. How do I keep doing that? Vintage ladies boot. Go. Oh. Now, did you mean a fancy one? Shop for vintage ladies boots and so we're getting rawhide boots. Images. We want a fancy one. Like that like that like this like that antique victorian vintage ladies button down two-tone leather now all right let's do that over here so we'll probably only get one on there to make it look decent so let's bring it down this way Oh, down, 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 and a curve, right? And it's got to have room for the toe here. Might have had to start with the toe. We might have to adjust this. 
Let's bring this this way and come up like that and like that and like that and then it curves and curves here like that and then we get that pretty heel like that and then this comes in here and it comes up more I think so this is not going to work in there it's going to come up here and around that way and down Now the buttons are another story. Can I get buttons on this? Let's see. If I put a, a line in there, I'll just kind of carve a little piece out of there. I don't know if I can or not. We'll see. We'll see, because this has to be a little line up in here. Because remember, this is, this is all gonna be black when I print it out. And I'm not sure that I can get buttons when well, they'll be smaller than that. They'd be much smaller. I'm not sure I can get those carved out. We will see. That one's smaller. And it comes clear down here. And this is kind of two-toned in here. This comes, it has to have a line in there. And then this, even though on here it's two-toned, this will all be black, and this will all be black when I print it out. So let's kind of make this a little more curved out like that. Well, sort of like that, Arlene. We'll see how it prints. We'll see how I carve it. I've got room for one more. Let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, thank you, Deborah. <laughs> thank you, Rhonda. I'm glad I didn't offend you guys. I actually like the jellyfish. I do like it. I'm just kind of afraid that when people see me print it, they won't know what it is. I'll tell them it's a jellyfish. Can't you tell? Don't you know what a jellyfish looks like? Um, I'm thinking that I can, can uh, carve out some lines. You know, by making them V, like making a slice this way and making a slice that way and having them meet in the middle. Rather than carving them out, just slice this way and slice this way to make the lines. I'm not sure. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm not sure it'll work. I need one more. You guys got one more for me? For down in here? My head's... I hate to say it, my head is brain dead. <laughs> I'd like something that's not, you know, not something that we can buy at the store. Like a jellyfish or a brain. Something, you know, something like this stuff. A paintbrush? Okay, let's do a paintbrush. Let's start, let's start way over here. Make it, let's make it a long one. Like so. And it'll have a... Like that. And then a... Like that. Is that good enough? Now I have room for one more in there. <laughs> a shell. A button. Let's do the button. Um, we'll, we'll just do a round button. I like the idea of a button. A shell would have been nice too. Maybe I can work a shell in up there. No more now. And I'm just going to put, hopefully I can get four holes. Maybe I should make it two. Well, I'll make it four and if it doesn't carve out, I'll just, I'll start with these two here. And if they don't carve good, I mean, if I, if I can, I'll get four, but... Let me black these in. 
If these carve good, I'll do all four. If they don't, I'll just do two, if that makes any sense. And I kind of like, I kind of like it to, let's, let's do it this way. I don't know if I, if I can get a line that way. I don't know if I can get that line in there. We'll see. It looks, that doesn't look good. Maybe I'll go back to my original circle. We'll see how, I could always cut that off if I don't want. Okay, let's start cutting them out. Thank you guys. Very good. I love all the suggestions. And then I have all these little pieces that I can, in between pieces, that I can make mosaics out of. Or somethings out of. So let's just cut. Let's see. I guess I'll just cut it here. I don't want to, but I guess I have to. Let's just start cutting. Now the thing about cutting out these detailing it, and I was saying that when I was cutting this swirl, if I cut this, I could cut this all the way out, but if I don't want to, well, I'd have to cut this one all the way out though. So let's get my, let's start with this one. Let's get my, I think I used my, exacto knife to do this and I'm not too worried about cutting through this because I got this but I do want to cut through it because I want to get my scissors in there if that makes any sense but if I'm doing those lines get my hands out of the way here let's just bring it down it's going down slow When you do this stuff, keep your hands out of the way. It cuts pretty good. But be sure to keep your hands out of the way. Now, I'm not going to cut this whole thing with my exacto knife. I'm just getting it started. I'm just getting it started. I'm just getting down to the bottom here. And I'm going to come through the other side over here. And then I'm going to get my scissors in there. But please keep your fingers out of the way if you do anything like this. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Alright, that's cut through. Now hopefully I can get my scissors in there. And snip, snip. And it might be a little rough on the edges. I might have to... I might have to, because I'm, I'm beating it up on the edges there, on the corners. I might have to do the corners with the palette knife, with the exacto knife, not the palette knife. if I can't just do it all. These short ones. With my knife. That's pretty good. Get it in here. This is not for kids. If you're under the age of 18, you might want to get supervision if you try something like this. I don't want to see you get hurt. We know that they watch. 
Yeah, that's where I got my scissors. These are cutting pretty plain. Now these I'm cutting clear out. When I do the detailing, I'm not sure I can do the circles. We'll have to see. I'm just moving my blade up and down like that. It seems to cut pretty good. But when I do the detailing, I'm not going to cut all the way through like this. I'm just doing that because I want this little piece to come out. I'm just moving my knife up and down like you were sawing this way. Seems to work pretty good that way. I can even turn the corners. I'm just about through it. There we go. We got an O. <laughs> it's a actually it's an octagon. I don't know how it's kind of beat up on this side. These other sides are cl pretty clean, but this side is where I first started. It's kind of beat up in there. But you know what? It's to m to make marks with. So, and then I've also got this one. Now let's try, let's try to uh, make a detail in here, like what I was showing you. Let's just try to put a, a line in it like that, like that. Make it look like a sort of a screw head. And what I was thinking was I can come with my knife and slant it this way. Now I'm, I don't know if I can do that one that thick, but just keep slanting it at an angle and then come keep my fingers out of the way. I can't do it that thick but I don't want a thick line anyway. Well, I don't know if that's going to work. No, I don't think it's going to work. It beats it up. It beats it up. It shreds it. But Let's just keep going this way. Let's see, maybe I can. Maybe I'm just approaching it wrong. Let's turn my angle, my knife the other way. This way. And this way. Grab a hold of that. See, it's foam, and foam is not carvable. I'd have to get this out of there. Yeah. yeah. Now it wants to. It wants to do its own thing. It'll cut straight down like this, but cutting it that way is not easy. So if I cut straight down, I'm okay. But then I have to get all that inner stuff out, and that's what I had trouble with when I was doing that swirl. So, I don't know. Let's pick it out there. I, this still might look like a screw once I stamp it off, because it's, even though it's pretty rough in there, that won't print. 
that roughness won't print because it's deep down in there. Let's see if I can get some of it out. Now let's just take my marker. And what, what it will look like will be like like that. And there'll be a white line there. And then this will all be dark in here. But I don't think I can do a lot of detailing of... I'd like to around that shoe. <sighs> that might print okay for, for fun. Okay, so let's go back to my shapes. We got the... <laughs> the octagon there and what filled it. Let's go back and do some of this other stuff that's more fun. Let's try my scissors. Let's just cut all of these apart while I'm at it. Screw. Now I could do the shoe, I could do the shoe and uh, outline it after I printed it with white, you know, it'll all be black or whatever color I print with, and then come in and paint the lines on there, but I'm not sure how much I can detail that shoe with a foamy. We'll see. We will see, said the blind man, but he didn't see at all. And this is, remember, this is just a floor mat, and it's got this plastic tread on the bottom, and that kind of makes it hard, hard to cut. The foam's not hard to cut, but it's hard to cut a curve around that plastic on the bottom, but they make nice prints, I mean, for foamy, for homemade foamies. Let's do the light bulb. And the jellyfish. Actually, I could have some more little the streamies coming out there. I might when I cut this up. That's the jellyfish in the dress form. And I'll start putting them up here. And the brain. Now I might be able to, I wonder if I take my needle Let's try it. Let's try it on a scrap. Let's try it on a scrap piece in here. Take my needle and just go like this to detail it. I think that might work. Just kind of press in like that. That might work for detailing it because that will that and where that crevice is will not that'll that won't print. So that might be a way to detail it rather than trying to carve it with my knife. Yeah, I think so, Rhonda. I think you're right. So we might be able to get some detail on these yet. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be fun. You know, I got four of these to use. Four floor mats, two by two, and then, but I cut off those ridges on, along the edge. Let's see if I can get this cut decent here. Cutting across the tread there. Just come at it this way. There. And the brain. <laughs> the brain's going to be fun to do. And we can even detail that leaf and the flower. 
and we can detail the spool of thread. Yeah, I think that I'm going to put my knife away because I think I'm done with that. And did I put the lid back on this? I did. And we'll have a whole box full of foamies. <laughs> By the time I get done with four of these, I think I put two of them in the craft closet because they were in my way. I had two of them out. I call it the craft closet, the little closet off to the left of me where I have a whole bunch of boxes. <laughs> I need to clean all that out. I really should. If something would happen to me. Well, I know if something would happen to me, my brother would just take an... I should put a big sign on there of who to contact or tell him who to contact if something happens to me. Cause he'd just take and load it all up in his pickup and take it to Goodwill, which really wouldn't be a bad deal. I wouldn't mind that to tell you the truth, but I would like for, I don't have a lot of nice stuff as far as that, but my journals and all of that if anybody would want them. I don't think my grandniece would want them, and I know my nephew wouldn't. Now I think I can get this out with that exacto knife going up and down like I did that octagon. That is a winter project. Yeah, the boxes and things are a winter project. It really is. You're right. Only trouble is it gets cold in there. Of course, if I would leave it, if I would leave the door open and let it warm up in there, we keep that door closed. That's why it gets cold. It used to be a back porch, I think, and they made a closet out of it. That's a nice big foamy. That looks like a bird, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like a bird? Let's make a bird out of it. <laughs> Let's see. Though, how big of a closet is it? Oh, I would say maybe five by. Well, it's got a doorway. One, three, four, five. Maybe five by ten. And then it's got another little closet on the, see it's like, it's like this, like the shape of my, probably about 10 feet that way and 5 feet that way. There's a door here that's off to my left. And you come in here and there's a little sewing machine that my brother's significant other had. And then I've got a bookshelf there that I have all my journals on that bookshelf. And there's boxes all up in here. And uh, over on this side is where my brother, there's a shelves, shelf over here that has a whole bunch of my brother's pop can airplanes and things. And then I have another shelf in here. This main, this doorway is probably about four feet here. It can't be, it has to be bigger than three feet. There's probably about a foot here and about three feet there. And about, it might be, I think ten feet might be a little much. It might be nine, five by nine. And then there's a, sh there's a shelf. I've got a bookcase here. And then there's another bookcase that comes there. And then there's a door over on this side here. And there's another closet that I don't know what's in there. I've never gone in there. My brother says it's, it's all paperback books that they used to read. And he put them all in boxes and put them in there. 
I don't know. I've never been in there. All right, I'm going to make a bird out of this. It's going to have a short tail. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll bring its tail down this way. Like that. And since I can now, let's give it a wing like this. And maybe a couple legs like this. Uh, like that. And let's let those tails go that. And I'll clip this off. That part's going to come off. And <laughs> let's just give it an eye up here. I've got a bird. <laughs> we'll come back to that. I want to cut the holes out of my scissors. I don't. Oh, wait. I've got a clip. I've got to clip the. Was, I was using this. Let's do the blades here. Like that. Like that. Like that. They sort of look like scissors. And I'll probably, maybe I'll make a needle hole, a needle circle there. We'll try that. Let's get my exacto knife out and see if I can't get these center pieces out. And I think if I can just carve it like I was doing that other piece. I might need to start getting a new blade in this. I've used this quite a bit for different things, but it seems to be cutting it. It's not as easy as the other one because it's smaller. I'm just doing that up and down motion, sawing at it. It seems to be working. It's just about done. Just got the bottom part to do here. Can you see it? A little rough in there. But that's okay. This is a foamy. This is for... This is not meant to be a beautiful stamp. This is meant to be for dirty dozens and jelly printing and that type of thing.
and I really do think a hot knife would probably cut this but and I have a I have a wood burner set a cheapy one but I put it away I don't like the idea of using it on this phone because I don't know what this stuff is made out of and I don't want to get sick and as I say in the other morning I could wear a mask <laughs> I don't want to make you guys sick sure enough the foams would come through the phone the the fumes would come through the foam the foam fumes would come through the phone <laughs> spit it out Mary all right, all right. I'm trying. Ooh, I got awful. I got awful while well, I was venting there. While well, I was saying my fun foam phone stuff. I wasn't watching what I was doing. Oh, well. We'll tie a ribbon around that side. <laughs> Come on, don't go too far off base, Mary. I'm not following my line. I'm about through it. I'm about through it. There. Ah, we can put that on my mosaic little dots. They look like eyes. They look like eyes. <laughs> they could be eyes going this way or eyes going this way. <laughs> oh. All right, there are my scissors. Now let's take my needle while we're talking here and I want to scratch a, a, a little screw head in here. Let's see if I can make a, like a, not the button, but similar, a round piece. You know, a little center screw. Let's see if I can just scratch one in there. It'll be scratchy. It won't be beautiful, but it'll be impressed in there. like that and then this may be a a diagonal line. We'll see how that prints. I think it'll print. Maybe do it a little deeper and a little wider. Like that. Can you see it? Well, let's let's put some black ink over it. No, you aren't going to see it until I print it. Because I the ink went on the inside of it. It needs to be deeper. Hopefully, it'll print. I think it will. Now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Let's get my ink pad and see if my ink pad will print it off on here. Yeah, see right there. Only only I got two. How did I get two? I got that one. Huh. Oh and this is this is where, oh, I see. This is the circle here. This is where I carved right in here. You guys aren't seeing this very well. Now, let me stand up and zoom in just a little. And let me get a piece of scratch paper here. I like my scissors. I can't wait to do the brain. 
we're just going to do the center where that square, where that screw is. There. And see, once it gets the, you'll see it once you get the handles on it and everything up above. That will be, where that white is is where I, where I scratched with the needle. And I scratched in the center there too. And what's showing are the two places where I didn't scratch is black. So I think once I print this off with paint, it will look good. All right, so we got the scissors and the octagon and the test in the center of the octagon. The bird I'm going to work with a little more. Let's do the flower. Nice and easy flower. Let's do a nice and easy flower. Let's make that petal go way in. Like that. Maybe a little more. general lose its sturdiness This floor mat was just my chair. We could I could hook them together, but when I rode across them, they fall apart. And Arlene said put duct tape on them, and I never got that done. So I'm cutting them up for foamies. <laughs> I'd rather do stamps. We'll find something else. So I've I've tried several different things for floor mats. I bought those plastic ones with the little grippers in them and they don't they don't work. I tried a rug, it just all curls up. It's beginning to look like a flower. I'm going to save all of those. I should put these in in a spot here. Put my Coca-Cola thing over here. Now, where's my needle? And I think what I'm going to do here is make some lines just like like that. And these lines should stay because it is pinching it in. It isn't like it's pushing it in. It's it's making an impression in it. 12, 11, what? That's like in college. I lived in a dorm with a girl whose mother gave her a subscription to Bride Magazine. How nice if you could get rid of the bad memories as easy as you gave away that doll. Oh, they're talking to Arlene. Did she give away a doll? Joyce says, I got always got one gift at Christmas. This year I got a bride doll. Mom was telling me I was growing up, I guess. <laughs> Aw. I always got a red robe at Christmas for my mom. Finally, I told her one year, I said, Mom, I've got enough red robes. I don't need any more red robes. <laughs> they don't wear out every year, Mom. <laughs> well, 
what what else did I get from her? I don't remember. We didn't do a whole lot of giving, but she gave us gifts when we were younger. When we got older, she she didn't need to give us anything. We went home for Christmas. All right. One more thing here. So let's do, let's bring this one down a little more. And these down a little more. And let's do some, I don't know, lines here in the center. I'm not sure that's going to do it. We'll see. I'm going to make little circle lines like, I'm not sure how that's going to print. Well, we'll find out. With paint, it might just all soak in there. Alright, we're going to call that my flower. Let's do the spool of thread. Let's see, I want to cut this. I think I wanted to cut it off a little like that. Snip it like that. If I can get in there. My scissors. It's not easy to get in there because see my my blade wants to. Oh, let's go this way. Let's come this way and this way. If I can get in here like that, and maybe do it. I want a curve. I don't want it to be zigzaggy. I want it to be curvy. I'm, curves are kind of hard with this. Now, I guess that's good. Then I want the edge of the spool to be straight. Right, like that. It doesn't look straight, but it's straight because I've got that black. Mary's muttering. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And then I'm going to grab a hold of this and round her off like that. Oh, am I doing another bird? <laughs> Round it up and make that kind of straight. Like that. And I'm kind of going to cut this off. That looks like a bird's head. What else could it be? A nose. I see a nose. You always hated that doll, but you took care of it, Joyce said. Arlene says, my parents had a formula for Christmas. We received two needed items, a jacket, shoes, a notebook, one toy, some fruit and nuts, but we always loved everything. Well, when you tell me what this is, the other thing I see is some sort of a hooded lady in there. We'll, we'll hold that one back. Let's finish my spool here. Now it has to come this way. And let's see if I can do some curves here. Curves are kind of hard on this. If, if it was just the foam, I think it would go much better. But it's this plastic. It looks like I was cutting it at an angle. Let's cut this out. 
It looks like a woodpecker. Yeah, I was thinking that too. So, but I've already got a, a weird bird over here. More of a loon bird, I guess. I guess this could be woody woodpecker. But what would it be if I took this off? And just had this, looks like a tree trunk. Just the trunk of an old bent tree. I could cut it down like that. Let that be a branch. And just do a tree trunk. I could let one come up that way. It could be a house. A crooked house. With a crooked roof. That's what it's going to be as a crooked house. Alright, let's finish my spool of thread though. I'm almost done with this. my bird back over there. Now, let's see, how am I going to get, let's see, I need to get more curves in here. I didn't get very good in there. And I don't know if I can. I have to cut. I got them good on the back here, but I don't have them good on the front. Let's see if I can snip with the tip of my scissors instead of the base. That's what needs to happen. There we go. Now. I need to detail it. Let's see if I can. I'm going to throw these teeny scraps away. They're too. That one might be saved. These others are too little to fiddle with. I can go for a lot longer, guys. I'm I'm totally awake. All right, we're going to try to make a a hole up here at the top with my needle. even be able to carve it out with it, lift it out with my needle. It gets gooey in there. It's like that foam. It, it cuts the first layer fine, but when you try to detail it, it gets gooey. I can lift this out. I need a tweezers. Janet? Good morning, Janet. Where's Janet? Who said good morning, Janet? Branson did. Good morning, Janet. I don't see Janet. Paint Girlie, Deborah, Arlene, Ellen, Rhonda, Joyce. Maybe I need to refresh. You're all saying good morning, Jan. Oh, Janet Nash. Well, there she is. There she is. She says, oh, wow, good morning, Mary and Fibs. Right after Deborah. I see you, Janet. Let's see if i got my tweezers in here. I do. Right here, there's a pair of tweezers. I'm going to see if I can lift that up. I'm making foamies, Janet. I'm working on a spool of thread right now. We did, so far we've done a flower. We haven't printed them off. There's a flower. This one was a test piece, kind of like a screw head. An octagon one. And this is an octagon, it looks like an O. It looks like one of those letters on a letter jacket, doesn't it? O for Ontario. <laughs> and we did a scissors. We did a scissors piece here, and I was testing out how my screw would work in there. I'm making the detail with a needle, 
the detail lines because the foam will not carve. But I'm trying to get the center of this spool out. And I think if I just use my, and it did, it came out, use my tweezers to pull out the, the innards here. And I don't care how, how bad it looks on the inside because that's not going to print. The inside's not going to print. Let's see if I can't get it a little better, though. All right. Let's see if I can't pull that stuff out. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Now, I need a line coming this way. So I'm just going to take my needle, and you probably won't see it because I darkened all of that out. And for some reason, when I'm making those lines, the foam will all of a sudden gather up into a spot. And it's like going over a hill, going over a bump there. I don't know why. Let's see if I can snip it with my scissors. See, and there's one there, too. Let's snip it with my scissors. <laughs> so there's a line, it's a curved line coming this way for the top of the spool. This foam doesn't like curves. It likes straight lines. Well, we're going to make it do some curving. And you'll see that better when I print it. There is a line there. But now I want another line to make it look like the side of a spool. And I'm just going to try to just maybe just gently carve that down. I don't want it as deep as the other one. And I think that'll work. We'll see. We'll see when it prints. And then I want to do the same thing in here. I think I could actually... I'm going to try this with my scissors and just... See if I can't just snip that with my scissors. And snip, because I want a fairly thick line. I think I can. Right in there. I think that worked. Let's snip that out. There. Now let's try to little curve it a little. There. Now I need another one, but I'm going to do that one with my needle. I need another one in here, maybe just to imprint. It, this foam doesn't like curved lines. Just so you know, it just doesn't like the curves. It, it kind of bunches up. Now, I want to make some threads. And I'm just going to keep do some lines like that for the threads. And we'll see how this prints. Yeah. We'll see how it prints. try to make this a little bit thinner in here. I think I got that a little thick. There. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll print off pretty good. So there's the spool. Got a leaf. Let's cut the leaf out. Oak leaf. Hi, Rosemary. For goodness sakes, there's Rosemary Morris. 
I'm making foamies, Rosemary, out of a floor mat. I've done a, you can't see it very well because I've scribbled it in. There's a spool of thread. There's a hole there and I've got some lines going that way. We've done an octagon, which looks like a letter jacket of an O. This is a screw head, I think. A flower. This is my favorite. This is a pair of scissors. And then the other morning I did a swirl. This printed off really nice. And uh, this is just the bottom of the floor mat, which is just a tread. Uh, it looks like, it looks like this. We did the swirl, the tread, and a star. And then earlier tonight, I'm going to print this off. I glued some with tacky glue, some scrappy pieces for a mosaic. I'm going to finish it up in here. Oops, that one didn't glue down very well, did it? I don't think I glued that down. Let's do that right now. I think I missed that one. They were probably yelling at me. You missed one, Mary! <laughs> They were probably yelling at me. I'm just using tacky glue, and this foam has a... It's foam on the top, but, but because it's a floor mat, it has a plastic coat, a plastic layer on there, which kind of protects the glue from getting on the foam. Let's see. I think I want it like that, like this. So we're going to let that dry a little bit more, and then we're going to we're going to try to print some of these out yet. I'm doing an all-nighter, I think. This one's my favorite, Rosemary, if you're watching. Maria said, do a brain. So we got a brain here. I can't wait to cut that one out. We've got a button, and an old lady's shoe, and a jellyfish, and a screw, and a paintbrush, and a light bulb and a dress form. And I got three more floor mats, but not tonight. <laughs> I'm doing a, a leaf now. A button. Yeah. I'm having fun. Rosemary, did you stream tonight? I was in Rosemary's stream the other night and she was doing a uh, she calls them caboodle kits. Arlene, would you drop a link to, please? It's not an order. It's a, please, drop a link to Rosemary's channel. She was doing a, she calls them caboodle kits. And I don't know if she has any left. She sells them, I think. I haven't been following too much, Rosemary, because I get distracted. I've got so many things going here, I can hardly keep up with myself. Um... You were doing doors, weren't you? A door kit? I think she did an orient. I think you're doing one every month, aren't you? A caboodle kit every month? Oh, you're not streaming tonight. Okay. Mary, could you use one of those mats as a knee mat? For uh, Yes, I could. But I probably won't. <laughs> I'll probably want to cut them up for stamps. <laughs> I'll, I would probably get it out there and... And I'd get it, my knees down on the floor mat, and I'd have to say, I'm down, but I can't get up. <laughs> no, I can, I'm pretty limber. I think if I got down, I could get up again. But I'll tell you, the older I get, the harder it is. This foam does not like, it's because of this, this backing does not like curves. It does not like to cut curves because it's got all those treads in there. See, I'm trying to cut a curve around that tread. And it doesn't like it, but this is a leaf, so if it gets a little battered, it's just seen its day on the tree. There we go. It, it likes big, smooth curves. I don't have any problem with that, but it's when I start doing all the little fussy things here. It doesn't like to turn the corners. I got these floor mats. These are the kind that hook together. They have they have pieces that hook 
that interlock like that and they're two by twos I think two foot by two foot and there's four of them in a package I think I paid about sixteen dollars for them but if I can get sixteen stamps I don't know if I have quite sixteen here we'll say if I can get ten stamps out of one of them I'd be happy did I cut that out? This one does not like curves. Let's say four dollars a, a sheet and ten stamps out of a sheet. What do I have here? I gotta count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 3 over there is 17, and a mosaic is 18, and I could probably get a couple more scrappy out of it. Let's say 20 stamps out of a 2x2 two two for $4 would be what? 20 into $4 is what? Eight, 80 cents? 80 times 20? Is that right? Or is it eight cents? Eight times four, no, eight times four is 32. It'd be 10. But that's 20, 20 stamps into $4. 50 cents? I'm bad at arithmetic in my head while I'm streaming. Well, you know, I get 20 of them for four dollars. Mary has to do some arithmetic now. 20 cents a stamp? Is that right? 20 times... Right? All right, that's what I'm gonna say, 20 cents a stamp. 80 cents a stamp would have been outrageous, Mary. You guys aren't correcting me. <laughs> You're laughing at me and my bad arithmetic while I'm streaming. I'm not dumb at math, it's just that while I'm doing all of this other stuff and talking to you, Sometimes I can estimate it out pretty good, and other times I totally blow it. I'm not a dummy, really. Well, sometimes I am. Sometimes I get myself into real trouble. <laughs> All right. That way, and we're going to make this one a little curvy, I think. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Like that. Bring it up in here. Hmm. Now let's just snip it off there. See, I've got all these, whoops, I've got all these scraps I'm saving. Some of them I'm throwing away. They're too little to fool with. I'm going to knock them off over the cliff. That one I might save. I'm about done with the leaf. I don't think I'll need my tweezers. I will the needle. Yeah. I go around the curve, it wants to cut it at an angle. It wants to cut it at an angle there. I don't want it to cut at an angle. I want it to cut straight. There. Now, it looks too much like a tree trunk. Let's trim it off a little more. Front door is open. No, I shut it. I slammed it shut. That's right. I'm gonna, I guess I am going to cut this off. I don't like it being so. Let's cut it at an angle. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take my needle and make some vein lines in it. Like that. Like that. Come down that way, maybe. This foam does not like I'll say it again, it does not like curves. <laughs> the foam does not like curves. It bunches up. It doesn't like to turn the corner. Long curves, it kind of, if you go like that, it kind of works. But if you try to make circles and stuff like that, it, it doesn't like it. All right, let's put one in here. Like that. Like that. Mary or oh, Rosemary? Rosemary, if you're still listening. Yes, Arlene, thank you. I showed some happy mail, but now I forget if I did it live on YouTube or Facebook. My mind is gone. <laughs> I know how you feel. <laughs> um, I ordered some of that just because of you, Rosemary. Because <laughs> you did that beautiful dye on that butterfly pea pod tea. I never heard of butterfly pea pod. <laughs> I thought you guys were kidding until I looked it up. And sure enough, it was butterfly pea pod. P-E-A. P is in a garden pea. I ordered some because I want to try to dye some of that seam binding like you do. Because it's so beautiful. Let's do the dress form. That shouldn't be too hard. And uh, I want to make my black walnut ink, but it's going to be so cut and picking hot this weekend that I might as well forget that till it cools off again. I should have did it the other day when my brother went fishing, but I was enjoying my time out on the front porch too much. I didn't want to go in the house. I didn't want to move. <laughs> Looks like a bottle. It's a dress form. That's a nice juice bottle, Mary. <laughs> She's got quite a figure, doesn't she? Well, we could call it a bottle, I guess. Let's give her a better shoulder here. I do to make this look more like a dress form and less like a juice bottle other than give her <laughs> some lines in there what uh, um, what does it have like shoulder shoulders arms in there and doesn't it have a, a piece coming that way and I'll have to think about it. I want to make that black walnut ink. I don't know. My walnuts are from last year. So I don't know how good they'll be now. But I would think if I soak them good, they might be okay. I'm going to have to throw some of them away. Some of them are getting kind of yucky. Um, I might make a bottle out of this. I'm not sure I like this as a dress form. We'll see. Let's do the light bulb. Stitch marks. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Stitch marks along the, along the bottom and, oh, like this maybe too. Some lines going this way and cut it off. I mean, put a line, a curved line there, a waistline. And some lines going that way. Let's do that. Let's let's do some. Uh... Now this, I've got the line drawn here. But when I cut it, I actually cut it out further here. So there's more. When I stamp it off, more of this shoulder will show up here. 
you can see on my finger there, it actually extends out to my finger. So let's do, the, I can see the lines in here now. Let's, let's see. Let's bring it this, hopefully, a little bit like this. And let's bring some lines down this way to make those bars, you know, like on the old-fashioned dress forms coming down. And, and then let's make a line this way. And curves want to bunch up on me. They want to bunch up, and I can take my scissors and snip the bunches. I don't know. I guess the foam... The foam wants to gather up in little places. And see, I've got this base on there. So even though I'm cutting that in there, if I don't cut through that base, it makes a deep line. All right, let's do another line here. We're going to do another bar here. Like that and a bar there, and maybe another bar up here at the waist, like that. And let's do another vertical coming this way. Now some of this should probably be carved out, or it's just going to look like lines. And I'll leave it like that for now. We'll see how it looks when I... See, it, it bunches up and then it makes the line rough if I try to. And I can get in there with my scissors and snip the bunches free, but then it kind of crumbles it away, so I'm not sure about that. Let's try another one. If I press and try and press down instead of trying to cut it through, if I just press but I'm not sure how long that press line will stay. Here, I don't, I don't get that bunching up until I start trying to cut down. Let's try another press. <laughs> Let's press it again, Mary. Like that. Well, it's not the best dress form in the world, but it's better than a bottle. Press it, and let's do another press there. Now some stitch lines. Let's do, let's do a line this way for the shoulder. And actually, that's out too. Let's do it that way for the shoulder. That's a pretty big shoulder. But let's do another shoulder here. Now stitch lines. I don't know. I think that she should be a little skinnier in here. <laughs> I'm going to cut her a little skinnier. We're going to make her have a skinny waist. She's one of those corset ladies. It has to hold your breath when you put on your gown. And let's well, see, that's at such an angle. Let's see if I can angle this one a little more. Like that. And I don't know, I kind of like that one, but I'm not sure about this. Because it... Now, I really think the top of it has like a plate coming across this way. A bodice plate. You know, and it has a bar going up this way. It has a center bar. So let's put a center bar. In. Whoops, I got rid of you guys. Live chat. You will be harvesting more. Oh yeah, like a pole, like a stand. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't put a pole. Well, I didn't have enough room because I drew something else underneath of it. But I can do a pole going up the top here. 
the pole this way, meeting like this. Sort of, it's not going to be straight, but this is just a foldy. So it goes like that, and then I th I do think that the it's kind of got like a a, a square. Uh, I want to call it a breastplate, like a square collar type thing in here, like that around the neck, like that, and like that, and I don't know, stitch lines, I'm still thinking stitch lines, let's put some stitch lines in here, just right along the edge of that, if I can. And I'm just going to have to kind of press them in. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Well, let's do that. Let's just make some holes in it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's continue with that. Let's do that along here. Like that. Now it doesn't look like a bottle anymore. I kind of like that a little bit better. Let's do it in there. I hope those print out. And I'm really wanting to print this out and see how it looks. The neck. The neck is kind of thick. Let's narrow that neck a little. Because I've got it way out like that. Let's see if I can't narrow it a little more in here. More like that. And maybe, I don't know about that shoulder. Let's trim it down a little. And let's narrow this neck a little now. Just a teeny bit. And actually the top, the top can kind of be like a pear shape, like I can get it that way. I don't know if I can because I need the I need it to curve more than it's willing to curve because of that plastic on the bottom. I might be messing it up. Let's see if I can at least cut that. No, well, I think I'm getting happier with it. Um, I know what we need to do is we need to we need to cut this out here and let that pole be the pole and cut it a little bit more. I might be making a mistake here, but we'll see. If I make a mistake, there's another floor mat. <laughs> Where's my exacto knife? Did I put that away? In my hair. No. Here, it's over here. Uh, dress forms turned out to be one of the fun ones. And a spool of thread and a pair of scissors. We've gone stitching tonight. We've gone to the needles tonight. Don't ask me to do a needle. <laughs> I'll never get the eye of the needle done. my tweezers. What did I do with the tweezers? I didn't put them down. There they are. 
Let's see if I can't get that out. Let's do this one. I hope I'm I hope I'm doing the right thing here. I don't know if I am or not. It's turning out, isn't it? I might try to make these armholes a little smaller too. She's got big a big shoulder over here, but we'll see. Let me get this neck done here. And Rosemary and Johnny and Potty Popo and somebody else I don't know, Nikki somebody, I don't know her, were doing uh, molding on that little mold machine. I'd never seen one of those. And I didn't have time to watch the entire video. i got to go back and watch the video. See if I can't shake this cleanness out a little. Rosemary is always doing interesting things on her channel. I wish I had more time to watch it. When I have the time, I fall asleep. The other morning, I started watching Dee Dee. I said hello to her right after my stream, and then I promptly fell asleep. All right. So let's see. I think I'm going to cut these shoulders down a little. This one is entirely too big. So let's cut there. Maybe cut here and here again. Give her a long waist. She's got a long waist. But that looks a lot better. And maybe she looks like she's got a football. She looks like she's playing football here. Of course, she's a dress form. She's not. There. I kind of like that. I think I need to slant this shoulder a little more. There. I guess I'm going to trim her down too much if I keep going. Now she's hippie. <laughs> Let's take a little weight off of her. Oh, not just not too much, just a little. What happens is I cut this from the back 
and my scissors, I cut it a slant. I think I'm going to call that good, except for where's my needle. Let's work with these lines a little bit more in here. I, I was cutting them instead of pressing them. And let's put a horizontal one here. Hopefully that'll work here, here, and here. And there. I'm not sure how this will turn off, but <laughs> especially with paint, we're going to find out if I do a light paint, I can't just put a big thick coat of paint on this because it'll soak into the lines, I think. There she is. I'm totally awake. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not tired. There's my dress form. <laughs> we'll see how she prints. Dress form, a flower, a screw head, an O, a spool of thread, a scissors, and a leaf. Let's do the jellyfish. Now I think in the jellyfish I can have some more little, little tails coming down here. I just cut them out with my scissors. You can just kind of imagine them. I'm not sure how they'll print. We'll see. This one I'm gonna kind of, this one's gonna kind of be thin, I think. He may not print very good. And this one needs to be. I'm gonna cut this out here. Of course, we got the curve to deal with. I might have to make some lines in there. And I don't know, let's cut it this way. I think I might need to cut that one off in order for it to look decent. Let's snip that one off. I might put one in here, kind of curvy like that, if I can. And then it comes up like this, sort of, like that, and then we've got to turn a curve, like that, oh, and I wanted to put a, a line in there and get my strut. This is going to need more thin in it. Let's draw a curvy line like so. Hopefully that'll work. Something like that. <laughs> I can see it, but I don't know if it's going to print what I'm seeing. We need to pull this out a little more. That really needs to be a little thinner, but it's hard to make it too thin. I better 
leave it alone. I'll be cutting it off. Let's do this one. This might look more like a jellyfish now that I can detail it with that needle because I'll get some squiggly lines in there. Yeah. Did I get out of my jellyfish hit? Yeah, I went to the shoes. Let's see if I can go back. Shoes. Um, no, I can't get it. I'd have to go back to it, the picture, and I'm not going to. I'm going to keep working on it. It's hard to cut a, a decent curve. If it was just the foam, it would be a lot easier, but it's that plastic underneath of it. You're off to work and to walk Oh, you're off to walk Freddy before he gets too hot. All right. Bye, Janet. Have a great day. Take care of Freddy. <laughs> Let him jump in the lake. Let him lo jump in that pond. He seemed to love love that water. Uh, we were watching a video of Janet. Um, Janet's over in the UK. And she was out with the park. She was throwing a ball. And boy, Freddy's her dog. And he would just jump in that old stream. Grab that ball. He just he never thought twice about jumping in that water. And he'd jump in there and he'd grab it. And he'd bring it right back to her. Let's do it again, Mom. I think he could have done it all day, played with that ball. All right, so this is cut at a slant again. Let's see if I can't get some of this bottom stuff trimmed off. There. All right, now let's see if I can cut this at a curve. Sort of maybe if I cut this, well that's cut. So we need to trim it off there. Let's get rid of all these little things. They're starting to bother me. We'll save ones like that. Maybe I can do something with them. I should probably cut this with the exacto knife. In fact, maybe I'll try it in here. A lot easier than with my scissors. Around this curve here. I've got part of it cut. There. Foam, when you cut around the curve, it wants to bunch up. 
It wants to bunch up in a little knot. And Arlene, if you get tired, you go off to bed. You're there on the east. You get, you're in the eastern time zone, and it's 2.30 almost here. Let's chant. We want prints. We want prints. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me finish the jelly. Let me finish the jelly. And let me do the light bulb. The light bulb will... This jellyfish has got a lot of curves. <laughs> let me do the light bulb. At least. Rosemary. <laughs> If I come into your stream and chant, will you stop what you're doing and <laughs> and do what I'm chanting? All right, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let's take my needle, and it needs some. Uh, maybe if I don't, maybe if I use the blunt end instead of the sharp end. And where I got this big, let's just drag my. No, I think I'm going to have to, because I can't see where I'm going. I think I'm going to have to use the sharp end here. I'm just going to drag it into sort of a curve here. There. And around in here. And around in there. Hopefully that's enough of an impression. I can feel it, but... If I paint with it, will it be? And then if I remember right, let's go look at that jellyfish. Sorry, Rosemary, I've got to go look at the jellyfish again. Jellyfish, maybe I can get a good idea here. Jelly. Fish. Images. And which one was I looking at? I was looking at one that was souping up. Uh, it was blue. Was it this one? So it's got... Let's see. Let's put some kind of little lines. Just little lines along the edge here. Kind of like a, a water mushroom in a way, isn't it? Only I think it's an animal. And you know what it's got? It's got these lines coming down like this. Let's make a couple of lines just swoosh them down into here. And maybe even one coming down that way. And another one this way. And then a whole bunch in here. And we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> uh, it may not turn out. And then again, it might. Put some lines in here. We'll call it quits. I want to do my light bulb and then I'll print some off. Because Rosemary's chanting. <laughs> the light bulb won't be hard to do, will it? curves but we got them we've got them because they're not little curves they're big curves I want to go back and watch Rosemary's video again about them doing those molding. They were molding stuff out there. And I didn't I didn't get to watch all of it. I got to say hello and that was about it. I think I fell asleep. <laughs> Sorry, Rosemary. I fell asleep. Dee Dee. I fell asleep in her stream the other morning and she was talking to me and I didn't, wasn't a hearing her. I was asleep because I'd streamed that morning. Was that Wednesday morning? And I was out. All right. 
now all I have to do is save that and let's make a a line across there with my needle hopefully that's deep enough they seem to be deep enough on the scissors let's make a filament oh is that what they call them in there a filament well that's what I'm calling it alrighty and let's do some lines in here I think, I think that's about it. Right, let's do a line like that. All right, let's give, let's give, all right, prints. We've got some more to do though. I've got the paintbrush, the screw, the shoe, the button, and the brain. Oh, can I do the brain, Rosemary? I've got to do the brain. I've got to do the brain. And then I'll quit. <laughs> don't you wish you had a brain I don't think any of those in the Wizard of Oz one wanted a heart oh one wanted courage was it the was it the scarecrow that wanted a brain and he gave him a degree the wizard gave him a, a degree I think gave him a brain and uh, was it Dorothy wanted to go home? Was that her name, Dorothy? Gosh, I'm gonna have to watch it again. Toto and Dorothy and uh, the Scarecrow and the Tin Man. Tin Man wanted a heart, didn't he? No, those the Lion wanted a heart. The Tin Man wanted a whale, I think. <laughs> Gosh, it's something how you, I must have watched that movie six or seven times in my life. I can't even remember everything. Follow the yellow brick road. I remember that. Pull it out. And we've got to be careful here between the frontal lobe and the, whatever that one was called. We don't want to cut him. We don't want it. We don't want him to fall apart here. We'll just kind of curve it that way. Oh, that's not very curvy. And we've got to do the brain. There's a part here and a part in here. Now, we need to make the crooked lines. <laughs> Rosemary, if you're listening, I was saying it's so amazing. It is so amazing how we just have this mass of skin and blood and tissue. And you think of all the things. Oh, think of our creativity. Think of the things that we see and hear and how we communicate. And the things we build and, and you know, our whole world or, you know, just think of all, and, and it all happens in this 
command center of gunk. <laughs> Which looks like gunk, but it's probably just, you know, all these little cells, all these little thoughts going on, and all of these little. It just amazes me. Let's get rid of the jellyfish and come back out to chat. My dad would not use a cane, so I know exactly it made us nuts. He's driving me nuts. Pink Girlie says, we represent the lullaby kids, the lullaby kids, the lullaby kids. And in the name of the lullaby kids, we welcome you to Munchkin Land. Yeah, the lullaby kids. I remember them. Don't ask me to sing that without any music. The lullaby kids. That's all I know. The kids, the kids, you said it. But I can hear them singing it. I can, in my head, I see it. All right, I'm just making squiggles out here. And I'm going to hope that they print. I'm going to hope that they print. My screw on my scissors seemed to print, but I printed it with ink and not with paint. So these I'm going to do with... Well, maybe I'll do a light layer of paint. <clears throat> if I don't put the paint on too thick, it should be okay. Actually, there should be a more of a of a, a circle in here. More of a. It's a lot harder to do this with the needle than with the pen, let me tell you. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready, Rosemary. Are you out there? Did you fall asleep on us? <laughs> and I have my mosaic. We're going to test that out, too. I think that's pretty sturdy in there. We'll, we'll finish it out later. I'll print what I have. Okay, so I need some paper. Yeah. Let's just use, because I'd have to get up and go across the room, let's use this piece of paper I was using for Crayola stuff. This is packing paper, what you would pack your dishes up in. I didn't put a, the cat back on this. Let's get these off over here. What's this? Scrappy. Scrappies. Scrappies. What we'll have a this is my weird bird. He's not quite done yet though. He's got to be cut out. That's a bobby pin. All right, all right. Hold the phone. I get get out some paint. I guess we'll just do black. And do I want to sponge it on or paint it on or smish it down in? Let's see. What do I want to do? Let's put this away. My scissors where I can find them again or I'll be hunting all over for them. <sighs> I'm going to move you guys off to the top of the wastebasket for you. You're here, Rosemary. Okay. Ginger Rogers come in? Oh, you said Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. Ginger Rogers, there she is. You could wow the way the hours, the lollipop guild. My son said a brain looked like a gray cauliflower. He said. Yeah, 
I, it just amazes me that that mass of skin and muscle and blood, I suppose there's some blood in the brain. I would think there is. I couldn't imagine a brain not having any blood. All right. Penelope, I'm going to move you out of the way someplace. Don't throw me away, Mary. I'm not. All right. What shall I do first? The light bulb. Oh, we got to put handles on them. I'm sorry, we have to put a handle on them. They're just easier to handle with a handle. We'll do it as I print them off. There we go. Move my heat gun out of the way. Uh, so it doesn't fall. Crayola wrappers. Alright. I'm ready. And uh, I think I'm going to do this burgundy instead of black. I love this deep burgundy paint. It's a red, reddish brown, purple color. It looks a little bit more red on camera than it does in real life, I think. And, uh, Let's see, let's take my paintbrush and smoosh it around here. That's wet. I don't like a lot of water off of my paintbrush after I pull it out of the, well, dry it off on the towel here. Yeah. All right, let's just kind of swish this around a little. I don't think I want a terrible deep coat on these. Because I think that it'll fill in the lines. I can feel them with my brush when I paint. It's kind of hot in here, so I can't do a dally dairy. Let's see how it prints. It'll either be bad or good. Here we go. I don't know if those lines are going to print. Shall I peek? Pretty good. I didn't get enough paint over there. Let's try. Let's try it one more time more paint on the edges here. Alright, let's try her again. I like it. That one's a success, I think. I'd call it, call it good enough. Now, let's put it where? Over here, out of the way. Yeah, let's put a little more paint on the tray and let's do the spool of thread. And I'm going to have to put a handle on each one as I go. Have patience. Have patience. That's all I know of that song. Da 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 da. Have patience. Have patience. Don't be in such a hurry. That's all I know of that song. Have patience. Have patience. Don't be in such a hurry. Have patience. Let's do the spool of thread.
I think this is going to turn out nice. Can you guys see? Yeah, I guess you can see. Now I could put this down inside the paint and squish it around, but I think I would squish paint into the the needle lines there. I don't want to do that. Let's get a little more paint up here on top. All right, here comes the spool of thread. We're going to put it at a... Whoa! Where are you going, Mary? I'm going to put it kind of at a... Oh, let's just put it straight up and down. Spool of thread. <laughs> kind of crooked there, but I like it. There's a spool of thread. Yay, Rhonda. That was Rhonda's suggestion, I think. Let's move this picture out of the way. I'm going to get it painting. Let's put it up here. Let's do the brain. Shall we do the brain next? Let's do the brain. I love the brain. This was Maria's idea, I think. Is she still in here? This brain is going to be brown. Red. Brownish red. It's really a brownie. It's a deep burgundy, which is kind of a brownish red. I might have to put some of these brain lines a little deeper, but we'll see. We'll see how this prints off. Here it goes. The brain. Uh, if I can bring this up a little so you guys can see better. The brain, the brain, the brain. I've got a V there. But I think it's more curvy on the other side. It's kind of hard to cut curves in this plastic coating layer. All right, let's see how it looks. <laughs> it needs some more. <laughs> it's pretty, it's got a hole in the head there. Let's see, I think I can probably snip that down a little and not make that so pronounced. Let's get my scissors out. Let's let's do some surgery on this brain. We don't want that so pronounced in there. I was working too hard to get it a curve in there. Probably a little bit more, maybe, even down. Maybe like that. And where else? We need, we need some lines. Where's my needle? Penelope took my needle with her. What did I do with it? We need some lines in here, which would probably be where? There's this one right in here. We need some. Let's see. There's that. And there's that. So right in here, I think we need some lines. 
I'm not sure I got them in here, but we'll put them in there. And maybe some of these, I think I missed some of these in here. You know, and this is the first time I've done this. If I do this more often, I can get better. I learn what works and what doesn't. Okay, let's try my brain again. I, I, I tried to smooth that down a little so it wouldn't look so like it's got a hole in its head. Let's try it again. I like the brain. I really do like it. It just needed a little, it just needs a little work done to it. Let me get a hold of it down here. The brain of the class. I can't see what you guys are saying because I put you down in the wastebasket. <laughs> so I could have room on my desk to work. You guys are in the wastebasket again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a brain on my desk to take care of here. Alright, let's see how this prints off. It may not be totally perfect, but it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> a turtle head. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing so hard. It may not be any better this time. Whatever it is, it's got a smile. That's probably too deep of a line in there. I can't fix that. I'll have to carve the brain again. We'll have to work on this one a little more. I'll have to study it a little more. <laughs> it looks like a bad hand, sh hand shadow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just think it's funny. It's a brain. Don't you know it's a brain? Don't you know a brain when you see it? Oh, that's a little better. That's a little better. <laughs> now it looks like a, an old dinosaur with lots of wrinkles. <laughs> oh, my dinosaur went from middle age to elderly. <laughs> but it's a brain. And I, I didn't get enough paint on here. It, it will look more like this if I have enough paint on it. All right, we're moving on. I'm done with the brain. <laughs> oh, let's do the scissors. I'm curious to know how these scissors are going to print off. I like my scissors, my dress form. Oh, we need a... Let's move my scissors, these scissors again. And what, let's put a handle on it. Let's see, let's move this one off for done with it. Yeah. And this is the back of it. That's good enough. Just so I can get a hold of it. We'll put my scissors that way.
All right, let's see how they print off. Or I might do them this way, maybe up like this. I should make these two tone scissors, but I've only got one color out. So they're gonna be all the same. Mono print, all one color. Gosh, now I can see doing little animals, big little animals, like a cat and a dog and a horse and a cow. Now we need to put more paint on this. But let's see what's coming up uh, school days, so scissors and I usually skip school days though. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays are coming up. I'll have to think of some holiday foamies. I'm having fun doing this. It's just as fun as carving. All right, here go the scissors. Forgive my dirty hands. They've been busy tonight. Since seven o'clock. How many hours have I been streaming? It's three o'clock. How many hours? I can't go 13 hours. We've been going, what? Well, I, I had a, I had a disconnect. So I think I've been going five hours since my disconnect. It says five hours and 32 up there. But I think I had a disconnect at, what, four, four, four hours? So I think I've been going about nine hours. Oh, I like my scissors. Now it's got a little roughness in there. It's got a little roughness, but as I as I learn how to cut out the circles, I'll get that taken care of. That it's good enough for for printing for like a dirty dozen or you know this isn't meant to be perfect art. After all, this is just a floor mat cut up. I got tired of running over it. And I think this was the one that I was running over too. But it's, it's got about a half inch of foam and it springs back. Well, I think I got enough paint on that. Let's try this again. I'm happy with these. I'm very happy with my scissors. Let's try my dress form next. I really do kind of like the brain, but that looks like an eye in there. It looks like an old dinosaur. <laughs> That line there is too wide. He's got a wicked grin. It almost looks like a snake head, too. Ew, a snake head. We'll have to study the brain a little bit more because there's this is the frontal lobe, and this is a lobe, and there's a lobe here, and a lobe there, and a lobe there. A little, a little lobe in the back. And I think, is that the pituitary there? What's this one? The celeb this is one of them that starts with a C. All right, let's pull it up, see what I did. Let's pull it up, see what I did. <laughs> I'm liking my scissors. I needed more paint in there, but. All right, let's do the dress form. I'm liking these. My tea is hot. Let's do the dress form. She's off under the underneath. She's right here. Let's put some more paint on there. This is Americana. This is Deco Art. I couldn't find any burgundy. Whoops, I need to put a... I couldn't find any burgundy in, in the apple barrel paint. 
So I splurged and bought eight ounces of Americana. Cost me five dollars. <laughs> My but eight ounces of Apple Barrel only cost me two fifty at Walmart. The Americana I got at Ho Hobby Lobby last December when I was doing the my December art journal. I didn't have any burgundy. I tear it around here. Come on. I don't want to get this tape. There. All right, let's do the dress form. I'm curious to see how she's going to turn out. gonna have the buttonholes. She's gonna have the little stitch marks. Here's the pole going up to her head. Here's her waist. I think she's gonna turn out pretty good. I could be wrong. Get some more paint on her before it all dries on me. I turned that air conditioner on so it's a lot cooler in here now. And I got the fan blowing the air this way. Alright, let's see how she prints. Where shall I put her? Right up in here, I think. We'll leave room in there for something. Let's put her right here. Oops, let's pull this over a little bit. I'm afraid to lift it up. <laughs> I'm afraid to lift it up. Alright, don't be a scaredy cat, Mary. Let's see how it looks. She's a little lopsided there. Right in. She's more slanty there than she is here. I need to... I need to... But if I make this any more slanty... I could make that a little more square. I could cut it off a little here. Let's do that. Just like carving, you gotta you gotta carve it and then see how it looks and make adjustments. I'm gonna carve it, cut it right down there. And maybe maybe bring that a little that way. And that way. And maybe not such a deep square, maybe round it off a little. Alright, let's see how that looks. I might have to put her shoulder back in, but it wasn't well, it was showing this one. Did I cut the right one? Yeah, I did. These aren't showing up so well over here. Where's my needle? Now I think I need the needle again. Let's poke holes in here again. These aren't short up so good. And I'm not going to try to put another line there. I'm just going to re-poke these holes. And I'm kind of liking the lines down the center here. And... Let's see. I think that's just the print issue because it looks pretty good to me there. I'm going to leave that alone. Let's do it again. See what I messed up. I didn't like this part of her. Let me give Penelope her needle back before I lose it. I wouldn't want to step on that needle. That would hurt. I'll put my scissors away. Let's try her again. On the underneath here. 
we're just going to leave the head alone for now. I am having fun doing these, that's for sure. We need to do a shell. Somebody suggested doing a shell, and I was going to. But somebody said, oh, I filled up the sheet, though, didn't I? I was cutting them out, and somebody said, let's chant prints. Let's chant prints. All right, all right, all right. Let's do her down here. Oops, I can't. All right, I'm going to do her right down in here. I know. Let's take this paint and move it over here. And let's move this over here. That works fine, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> we just got a few more to do. And I think I'll probably call it quits after I do these. Because I think I've been going eight or nine hours. What time is it? It's 3.05. I usually go until about, well, I'll tell you what, my alarm will be going off. For, well, yeah, no, Saturday morning. I don't know if I have my alarm set for Saturday or not. I don't think I do. I'll sleep all day today. I'm pretty happy with her. I'm pretty happy with her. I could make some of these lines a little more pronounced. And as I put the paint in there, it fills up, so I'll have to push them in a little bit more. But I'm pretty happy with her. She's okay for a foam stamp. Let's move on. Let's do the... Shall we do the jellyfish? I have no idea how this jellyfish is going to look. But we're going to see... It looks like a jellyfish from the back. I never drew a jellyfish before, to tell you the truth. I think I was thinking starfish when I was drawing it. Instead of a jell... I mean, when I first... When she first said it. When she first said jellyfish. No, I thought of those big round... Ew, gooey things that you see out on the beach. They're big oval things. And... The one time that I got to visit the Gulf of Mexico was probably in the early 80s. And here's how that story went. I've told this story before. I bought a 1983 Oldsmobile. Boy, did I think that was cool. I was working at the time. It was one of my first programming jobs, and I needed a car. I had these old school cars. You know, you pay $100 for. That's all I had to drive to work in. And, you know, you need a decent car if you're going to be out on the high, you know, driving back and forth to work and everything. And I secured a loan, believe it or not, because I was working. That was kind of hard, too, back then. I, and uh, I went to the, to the... You have to remember, this was 1983. They, they weren't all... In Nebraska, they weren't all used to women yet buying cars. But I went to the car place, the you know car dealership, all by myself, and <clears throat> probably paid more of a higher percent in a loan than I should have. But I got the car, and they were running a contest. They were running a contest to Disney World down in Florida. Well, he said, do you want to enter it? And I said, yeah. Let's print this off and see how it prints. And so, I he he was just going to, he filled out the papers, and he was just going to take them there and after I left and throw, said he was going to put it in the box, in the container. I didn't believe him. I, I said, let me walk you over there. <laughs> so... I did. I walked him over there, and we put my entry into the to the box. They had a box there where you put all the entries for the winning car, and each dealership had a 
a winner, I guess, for this trip to Florida. And I went on about my business, and a month or so later, I got this call at work. Now, you have to understand that I didn't have a phone at my desk. When I worked, I worked in a big open area, and we all worked on at school desks. You know, you think of these teacher school desks, think of a big steel desk with the drawers. Well, that's what we had. We didn't have office desks. We didn't have a computer at our desk. We had a central table with six old white big old terminals, COBOL and assembler. And uh, I wrote in a typesetting language because I, I programmed these catalogs. Kind of cool in a way. And, uh, okay, let's see what the jellyfish looks like. Anyway, the secretary got a phone call. That's pretty cool. That looks more like a brain than the brain does. Now, if I get some more lines in there, see, these lines aren't quite showing up because I don't have them deep enough. This is when Rosemary came in and started chanting. <laughs> we'll blame it on Rosemary. But I think if I get these lines in there a little bit more, I think that'll be a pretty, maybe in here a little more, too. I think that'll be a pretty cool jellyfish. That looks more like a brain than the brain. Anyway... The secretary came up and, and, uh, <laughs> Mary, you have a phone call. You know, that's how we got our phone messages. We didn't have phones at our desks. That's how bad it was. That's what kind of an environment it was way back then. And, uh, they all thought that I was looking for a new job. Well, I wasn't. I won that kind. It was a marketing it was a marketing place that called me. And I won that contest to Disney World down in Florida. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to go to Florida. So I asked them if I could, could turn it in. Of course, you know how that is. And they told me, no, I had to either take it or have a family take it or something like that. I couldn't sell it. So I said, okay. And a couple days later, they called me back and said they found somebody who would buy it from me. So I sold my contest for the value of the, I mean, I sold my winnings for the value of the contest, the value that they valued it at. And I had a friend who was in the Peace Corps. She was a lady, and she was in the Peace Corps over in Tunisia. And she'd come home. She, I went to college with her. She, she went on and joined the Peace Corps and went over to Tunisia. And she was home. She'd gotten home, but she was dating a guy down in Houston. And uh, I'm getting to my jellyfish story. <laughs> so instead of going to Disney World, we just hopped in my brand new 1983 Grand Prix and drove down to Houston. She had friends down there and she was dating that guy. And I said, oh, sure, I'll take you down there. We'll drive my new car down there. And we did. We had fun. You know, we were just, we were pretty young. I was probably in my mid-twenties. And uh, it was fun. I had fun. <laughs> but when we were down there, her friends took us down to the Gulf of Mexico. And I'd never seen the ocean. I'd never seen the Gulf of Mexico. And I'd never seen a jellyfish. <laughs> and there was this great big old gooey thing out on the sandbar. And I said, ew, what is that? And she said, don't touch it, it'll sting you. It was a, she said it was a jellyfish. And that was what I thought a jellyfish looked like. It didn't look pretty like this. It was, it was kind of rect cylinder shaped. Ew. And that was my jellyfish story. And this is my O. Oh, now this is the, this is all raggedy in there. This is the octagon shape. I did real good out here. But you have to understand, this is the first time I cut out a, a circle out of here. So it's kind of raggedy. I, I did much better on the scissors. Well, not that much better. So we're going to have to figure out how to cut these. And 
Also, I think my blade is kind of dull. I think the exacto blade will do nice, but I think my blade is getting dull. So we're going to leave that alone. So that was my jellyfish story. Here's the inside of that. Oh, we could actually put it inside if we wanted to. I'm calling that a screw head. We've only got two more left, the leaf and the flower and this screw head. I don't know how many people. I've got 26 people in here. 36 people. Wow. I'll bet you some of them went to sleep. And just left me going. That was nice of them. I'll do that sometimes with Lisa and Tanya if I have to take a break or something. I'll just leave it running and let them get the time and then I'll I'll go do what I need to do and come back and they're still talking. I did that the other day. I got distracted with something in the house here. All right. This may not be too bad. This is just a square screw head. We'll put it, let's put it right up here. This might be fun to, and actually if we did this several times, it might be kind of fun to print. I kind of like that. Let's just dab it down there and do it again. Yabba dabba do. Now let's do it again. Oh, now it's going to look like two eyes. Oops, didn't get much on that. I don't know if I can get... No. <laughs> oh, well. I'm going to leave that. No, I can't stand that. Let's paint it in a little. There. Now it looks like I printed it off, doesn't it? My sloppy print. But you have to understand, this is this is for the Dirty Dozen stuff. This this isn't meant to be. This is for like mark making and such. We'll put that one there. We got the leaf and the flower left. Let's do the flower next. And then I'll probably have to call it quits. I told you my Houston story. Oh, I got to go to the Houston, the Space Center. They took us to the Space Center. And when they took us down to um, the Gulf of Mexico, they took us to, what is that town down there on the Gulf? It's not, it's not on the southwest. It's, it's south of Houston. They took us down there. We saw this big ship. Was it a pirate ship? It was a big old, old, old ship. You know, not the Mayflower, but similar. <laughs> I called it a pirate ship, but it wasn't a pirate ship. But it was an old ship like that. And uh, they took us to the Space Center down there. And what I remember most about that Space Center was not the space. It was the holly bushes. The holly bushes as you walk up to, to the place where we could go visit, you know, and see everything. I don't remember even remember what was in the 80s what they were doing in, at the Space Center then I have more interest in it now than I did then but I remember the holly bushes because I picked a leaf off of the holly bush <laughs> I might have gotten in trouble for that but I picked it anyway and I brought it home with me and I probably still have that holly leaf someplace I remember doing that what else did we do? Oh, we went out, and I'd never had Mexican sopa, what do they call it, sopapillas? Sopapillas, is that how you pronounce it? Those fried, uh, fried pies, kind of. They're really good with cinnamon and whatever on them. I never had one of those before, so I got to have one of those. Ah. <sighs> And then we came home, <laughs> and she didn't marry that guy. I'm kind of glad she didn't. She married another guy years later who's really nice, and she lives over in Iowa now. She lives in a uh, Victorian-style house, and she takes all these uh, pictures of 
hummingbirds and flowers and and all of that. I'm still I still know her. I'm still friends with her. Yep, those were the days. Oh, I like that flower. That one's good. We're good with that. Let's do the leaf. Oh, and I got room for one more down here. I'll have to cut one just because I have room for it. <laughs> I'll have to cut out one that's... Oh, the mosaic. Oh, let's do the mosaic next. Because it'll fit in there. My leaf will... I'll have to fit my leaf in. Uh-oh. Well, let's do the mosaic. I might have to do the leaf on another day. Because I'll do it with the rest of them. I want to do the mosaic. Oops, that's not going to be long enough. Let's glue these two together. Like this. Like this. Uh-oh. And let's see. Yeah, I want to do more on this side. This is the scrap, these are the scrap pieces that I had left. A little bit more paint. So I've got several of these to paint. And I could have put these a little closer together. And maybe I will the next time. This is waste not want not. I better hurry or it's all going to dry on me by the time I get to the last one. Yeah, I like that guy she was dating, but I didn't think that they were a match. And she must have not either because she married she married another guy. There we go. Alright, let's put her down. Right down in there. And let's see how this prints. This will make a nice I'll have to do, I'll have to gather up all those ones I cut, and if I cut more, and I'll have to make a big, a big one for a big background stamp. Well, that would be kind of hard to paint, though. Maybe a, a, a 9 by 12 one, not an 18 by 24 one. <laughs> all right, let's see how it pulls up here. Oh, now see, I didn't see a mosaic, but I see my dress form in there. <laughs> see, this really needs, uh, I need to close it up like this for it to be a true mosaic type thing. And then when I fill in, I'll, I'll fill in these, probably something like so. I'll just paint that in. I kind of like that. But then when I continue making them, if I make another one, I think I'll make make them closer in together and not have such wide lines. But that looks I, that looks like a lady there to me. Okay, let's uh let's do a half of a flower down here. Let's get my let's put this paper down in here. I can't stand that blank space. Let's do a half of a flower. Use up my paint. And then I'll come out and say goodbye to everybody. I will probably be sleeping till 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow. So don't wake me up.
my brother Mike watched, sometimes he turns on the, sometimes his Price of Right show is on and he'll turn it on and wake me up, but sometimes I sleep right through it. All right, here we go. Right down in here. I'm gonna put another flower. And I am pretty happy with these. I can see this mosaic tiled across the, the page. I can see my dress form and scissors and I love my light bulb. The light bulb is for a huge mind map. Alrighty, pick it up. There it is. Let's finish painting off the edge here. Just a little. There we go. So, let's see. I'm not quite done yet. Let's put my stamps over here. Let them dry. Um, let's take this and put it up here for now. Let's put my paint away. And put this over here and let it dry. We got some more to cut, but I'll cut them maybe Sunday night. Maybe Sunday night I'll have some more. I truthfully do like these. Can you guys see them? Are they up? Is my camera floating down again? That seems awful high on my desk. You guys probably didn't even see me stamp those. There they are. And let's see. Let me reach down here. There's my journal, my magazine, my. Oh. I'm looking for my crackle and journal. I was going to smear that paint in it. But since I can't put my hands on it, I'll grab this dictionary. And I'll smear that paint in this dictionary just to save it. I know it doesn't look the best, but when you get other stuff on it, it'll look better. And it's not wasting the paint. Now I'll have to think of some more shapes. You guys really helped me with the shapes. I'll have to think of some more. We're going to refine that brain. We're going to refine the brain so it doesn't look so much like a snake or a dinosaur head. <laughs> what else did I do tonight? Oh, I, I made this little Coca-Cola can. We open, look and see these popped open already. I'm going to have to put these down better. For some reason this gaffer tape is not sticking to the cloth. It probably sticks better to paper. It's sticking okay to the tin, but it's not sticking to the cloth. It's popping up. So, and it's not sticking good in there. That's gaffer tape. So it doesn't like cloth on cloth, but it likes, it's sticking to the metal fine, and it sticks to paper fine, but, so we did this little pop can. I kind of struggled with that, but I got it covered it with galaxy fabric in there. What else did I do? I opened Happy Mail and we did some pages in my journal here. Let's get those out. Right here. We did some... Lori sent me this these wonderful images that I'll probably hoard. <laughs> they look like they're stickers. And beautiful gold paper and I opened Shannon Green has a, a, a grow your own news kit I bought that and some some vinyl scraps from her we'll play with those another day gosh I don't remember what else I did I think that's not cut out the phonies let's put these out like no, I think I'll just do my thumbnail 
probably do this much. I like to. <laughs> Maybe I'll put my flower here over that di the brain. The brain looks like a dinosaur head. I'm, I, I just, I'm not ready to. I want to refine it before I put it on a thumbnail. There, we'll put it like that. And I've got more to cut out here, but, oh, I know. Here, let's put my Coca-Cola. Well, it's not quite done yet, though. But we did this. We worked on this. It's not, uh, I'm going to have to glue these down. They're not sticking too well. Okay, <laughs> let's get, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Here, let's put this. Let's put the star one there. There, it'll show up better. Oh, look at my camera's all crooked. Let me fix my camera. You guys probably didn't see what I was doing. Well, it looks okay in here. Let's zoom out a little. There. There. Sorry about that. All right, I have tons more I need to do to catch up with you all. Flip, 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 flip. You've got 34 of you in here. You opened Happy Mail. The scissors, yeah, I love the scissors, didn't the scissors? I would show this, but I know somebody will say, did you do a dinosaur head or is that a snake head? And I don't want to deal with that. I know it's a brain, but see that, uh, that looks like an eye. This looks like a mouth. So I need to refine it. I love the brain. I love it because I know it's a brain. But I know somebody else will think it's a snake head or a dinosaur head, and I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Don't email me, <laughs> as Dee Dee would say. Or they'll say, what is that, Mary? <laughs> you ever get people saying that to you? What is it? I got the this handle on it back here that's yeah. Alright. I probably have messed it all up now. Alright, let's see what else you're saying. Did I say hello to you, Lala? Ah, oh, thank you, Lala. Worked on another mini journal. Oh, I did Shannon Green's mini journal, didn't I? And I showed Tanya's, but we did Shannon Green's little uh, she sent me this as a freebie, and I painted the cover green, but I'm going to have to give it another coat, especially on the back. The front's okay. I think I'll edge it in gold, but I love her eye there. So this is Shannon Green's journal. Well, we'll put that. We should put the eye right there. <laughs> we don't need that star there. We'll take it off. There we go. No emails. No emails, Carla says. Cool book. Isn't that cool? I think this cover is her, her uh, I think that's what she calls her suede, suede paper or something. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's got a nice texture. It's a nice heavy paper. And then this is like a multimedia paper in here. It's really cool. I could do some pen work on this. Not as cool as Shannon's doodles, though. You'll have to go out and look at Shannon's printables. If I had my printer set up, I'd be in trouble. She's got a lot of doodles out there on her Etsy shop. If you want doodles for your journaling, you might go buy some from her. They're not expensive. I would, but I don't have my printer set up. So, let's see, what else? Oh, hi, Tanya. Tags, you made them, too. Oh, I did, didn't I? Thank you, Tanya. You guys were watching. I did the tags over here. I've got all my stamps piled up on them. I'm not going to... You're right. I did those... I painted those tags and put the napkins on them. Thank you. Mary, just say whatever you want it to be. Yeah. You know, this one, it does look like a dinosaur head or a snake head to me. And this one, 
you know, I know it's a brain, but I can do it better. We'll do it better. I'll have to study it. And this one looks like a, a shadow print, you know, how you, you do the shadows on the wall and go like that. <laughs> That's what this one reminds me of. It fits too, doesn't it? <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. That's all I've done all night. Let's straighten it out a little. Put the swirl back over it for now. Otherwise, and I don't even know if all of this will print. I want Shannon's uh, because to put it on the thumbnail, my thumbnails, I have my my channel Penelope and my channel name off over here. Then I just have a, a, an area in here, so I might not even get those light bulbs. And I'll, I'll be sure that I get Shannon's journal in it, but this part probably won't print off. Maybe I can get the scissors in it. Shannon's Etsy shop. Thank you, Arlene. Thank you very much. Let's see, what else are you guys saying? All lovely creation tags, opened happy mail, scissors are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deborah. Oh, Rosemary went to bed. <laughs> we we talked Rosemary to sleep. Bye, Rosemary. Did you sleep yet? No, I haven't slept yet. I usually get up when I stream in the mornings. I don't stream on Saturday morning, but when I do stream in the mornings, I stream at 4.30, but I'm usually getting up about now. I have to get dressed and have coffee and, you know, turn on the lights and change clothes. Well, I said get dressed, but, you know, get my morning routine in. Pretty flower. Yeah, the flower turned out nice, too, and I love the dress form. And I even like the jellyfish. That jellyfish turned out, and I'm going to take my needle and define it a little more in here, but that jellyfish turned out pretty nice. I have to say, the jellyfish more looks look more like a brain than the brain does. And the spool thread turned out good, and the, and the lights turned out good, and the scissors turned out. I'm pretty happy with these foamies. For an old floor mat, they turned out pretty good. All right. You all have a really good weekend. Um, I think there's a hop going on tomorrow, and I, I think Beth Schuler comes on at um, 6.30 uh, Eastern Time, and Tanya McGuire comes on at 12 noon on Sunday, and I will stream Sunday evening probably at 6 o'clock. So have a great weekend, everybody. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Have fun and do some art. Bye.